Okay, everyone. So let's start our TA session. And today's content is uh, week five. How many of you have already completed week five? We can. I mean, today's agenda is to discuss first two videos, a little bit in depth discussion. So can I see the hands? How many of you have already watched the lectures of week five? No one. Not yet. Come on, man. Who is saying not yet? Only first video, Venkata and uh, okay, Krishna. Not yet. Okay, man. I, I am a little disappointed. Honestly, I am a little disappointed. The reason is the reason is these videos are recorded by Anansar himself. So, and these are quite very new video. They just introduced these video in this term only. It was not here uh, last term. So this is really up to date content. And even this is very new content uh, for me. So I also just uh, actually I got the privilege to record these videos with Anand sir. So it is it is it was quite fun. And uh, I am not very much familiar with these topics, but uh, it was quite fun. It was very interesting. Okay. So once again, this will be hand on practice. There is something which is not very easy. There is something which is uh, actually I don't mean it is tough. But not very simple because there are some two or three things which you need to understand, which you need to change. Okay. okay. And I hope there was instructor session yesterday. So maybe you got instructor, uh, any instructor, sir, persona, or the user, have they covered uh, these topics? Uh, no, actually, in the last session, I mean yesterday. Some mm -hmm. of them did, didn't get the API email, so they were discussing that. Okay. Uh, so you mean on the operational part, uh, not the uh, educational part? Huh? Yeah, nothing was taught in the last session. Okay, so, so I think I need to discuss from the very start. Huh? Okay, bro. Okay, so, so, so let me start from the very basics. Very basics. Yes. Okay. I need a volunteer. Can anyone volunteer tell me what is this? These words and what is the meaning of it? Anyone of you? These are very popular terms. So, anyone just tell me what is the meaning of these 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 words? I mean, you can, anyone can speak. Totally layman language. Totally noob level. It will be fine. Just just. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this thing. I, I don't want fact. I want your opinion. What do you guys think about uh, this? These three words. When you heard LLM model, let's do use chat GPT. Let's uh, do some cheating. Let's use some LLM model and just create some content. I need to make my resume. Let's use some LLM model. What what, what is the what you guys understand from these uh, LLM models? LLM I mean, models included. No volunteer. Okay. Okay. So, so let me uh, explain. Simple thing. Large language model. LLM. Large language model. It is a type of in, uh, artificial intelligence program. Okay. And we generally use a lot of, lot of, lot of data. That's why it is called large. Okay. Then while uh, language. Language is because it can speak. It can uh, communicate. Not speak actually. Although it can also speak, it can communicate in very much our human language. If you are good in Hindi, it can communicate with you in Hindi. If you are good in English, okay, English is also fine. So I don't know how many languages, but most of the uh, major language of the world, these models can communicate. Okay, so that's why language and the large because they chunk a uh, lot of lot of data. Once again, these are uh, artificial intelligence uh, type of model, which means they are deep down they are using. A neural network, deep learning, these type of terms, which is nothing but some machine learning uh, model. So you guys can say there's some mathematics and stats, then you build up some machine learning model, then you build up something uh, more efficient model like deep learning and neural network, then you feed it lots of lots of data. And then you make some, some more adjustments. So you have some machine learning algorithm or some model which, which has already consumed a lot of data and which can communicate to you in your own language. I mean, normal, like Hindi, English. So the one of the most popular model is uh, LLM is ChatGPT. It is ChatGPT. So let's try to talk to ChatGPT. OK, I want to see some content. Can you please release the poll? How many of you already use ChatGPT? Just a very small poll, and I just want very quick answers. 
some people are raising hand but please just uh, just uh, click on the cartons poll you guys can find the uh, poll here these some geometrical shapes and then there are some poll okay no okay this is v5 i thought this is for uh, how many of you uh using chat gpt so just just very quick poll carton is it carton is working on it i just do i know that uh the majority generally use chat gpt just i want to see uh there is one more poll and i'm gonna click have you used chat gpt yes i use chat gpt so everyone is using six vote to yes everyone used chat gpt guys you guys use chat gpt but still you are not able to answer what is llm even just you can ask chat gpt what is llm chat gpt and you can just recite that answer here but okay fine but i think we got 100 percent protect okay man but let 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 me try something let me try something as maybe you guys know my my native language is hindi so let me try I am I am I am not that good in English, so let me try something in Hindi. Uh, namaste. My screen is visible, that chat GPT part. Yes. Namaste, namaste GPT. Yes. Uh Kase Ko. I think that you can let me see what, what chat GPT is gonna reply. Namaste GPT up Kase Ko. Namaste Machi Hu Ap Kase. Oh, this is a simple, simple Hindi, simple English. I don't know if uh, I don't know any other language. Uh, but okay, let me let me try one word which I learned in Tamil. Vanakam. Uh, Vanakam. Anna. Anna means big group. So, let's see. So this is Tamil. Vanakam. Add a P. Okay, this is Add a P. Iru. It's uh, it's it's a prayer king. Okay, and the meaning is how are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so you guys just, just see that uh, we generally use English. We generally use uh, Hindi. I, I didn't even uh, mention that uh, ChatGPT, my language is Hindi. So communicate me in Hindi. No. That's the beauty of the large language model. So how it is able to successfully detect this language? The answer is large. Answer is large. Because we already have changed so much data. We already have uh, put so much data inside it that this ChatGPT can differentiate. Okay, it, it can differentiate like ah, uh, so maybe ah uh, means I'm um, part in Delhi, but no, ChatGPT knows that what is the meaning of it, what is the meaning of this sequence. Maybe ChatGPT considered that thing also. This is a large language model, it must consider the all the possibilities. What meaning if it is I'm um, party, I'm um, admi party, kaise ho? doesn't make any sense. I'm um, admi party, kaise hai? maybe, maybe, maybe there is a sense. So, yeah, so so that's the thing. So, so that's the large language. Model. Now let's back to the uh, syllabus. <coughs> this model covers the practical uses of large language model. Okay, we will think about it. But Cartan just uh, gave me some, some some indications that I better talk to some totally different topic. That topic was here till the last one, but it is not here now. But I think it's really important for you guys to understand this topic. Otherwise, maybe we are not able to. Um, I will not able to explain uh, something else. Once again, I, I, I request you guys to open uh, your coal F5. This will be very small code. But I, suggest, I request you guys to please open your coal F5. At this point, I hope everyone of you know how to use coal F5. Huh? <coughs> uh, anyone is facing any problem in opening coal F or something? You guys can always ask. Okay. So what I want to try what i want to try i need a volunteer once again i need a volunteer anyone will do maybe shine shine is always fine but anyone else <clears throat> no volunteer. come on man what happened to you guys today no why is it silent i have a volunteer sir. okay please no do no don't call me sir i'm just with you i'm i'm also a student okay when it when it let's let's deal let's talk let's talk okay it's you and me i'm gonna say you something and you are gonna tell me if it is you it is positive feeling or negative feeling. okay no i mean just just a friendly talk okay so me too venkat venkat uh you sounds like a sincere student so venkat what's the feeling here is it positive type of comment or negative type of comment positive positive 
no, no, I want to say, when get yeah, you are not putting any effort. Like we release uh, all the scraping documents, all the ROI stuff, uh, like ages ago, and you are just asking us some, some very nonsensical type of question. So which type of sentiment is here? Which type of feeling is here? Negative sentiment. Okay. One more try. One more try. When get uh, you are tedious student. Now what? That's just a fact. No, no sentiment is involved. That's that's the amazing thing. You use the word fact. Okay, guys, everyone. See, here is the thing. Here is the thing. Uh, we communicate. We speak a lot of languages. So, so whenever I say something, there are there are uh, two um, categories of it. Uh, just very very briefly. One is my view. Okay. Second is my. Um, uh, I'm just stating fact. Okay. What is the view? Let's say the view is. Uh, I don't like yes. sun, Suraj. I don't like sun. This is my personal view. Maybe you guys are agree. Maybe you are not agree. But what is the fact? Uh, sun is bright. This is fact. No one gonna uh, disagree. This is hundred percent fact. Like when I mentioned that Venkat is a sensible student. This is my view. Maybe Venkat's teachers uh, has some different opinion. And when I say uh, Venkat, you are not uh, sen uh, sincere about your study. So maybe it's, it's true for me because I just met Venkat today and I see that he's asking some questions. I, I'm not happy with it. Though Venkat, I am totally happy that you are asking questions. But let's assume. So I, I, I just uh, made an idea that Venkat is not a sincere student. But maybe Venkat uh, has some uh, problem at home or uh, Venkat is uh, traveling. So he is not able to put the effort, but he's a very smart guy. So these are the views. But when I say Venkat is a tedious student, that's a pure fact. There is nothing positive, nothing negative. That's a pure fact here. When I say I don't like sun, my personal opinion, my view. When I say uh, sun is bright, sun is hot, that's that's a truth. That's a fact. Okay. So this thing is called um, subjectivity. Subjectivity. I'll put this in this kind of Okay. Subjectivity. So this is the subjectivity. This is a uh, which is no. So what is the subjectivity? So I can say either this sun is bright it has zero subjective which means whatever i am saying is hardcore fact there is no chance that you guys can interpret it in any other manner but when i am saying uh, this thing so here is a subject it, it is a very high subjectivity you guys can say it's a amit is 100 percent your own opinion i am not agree with you because i like sun because i do some uh, some 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 kind of sports which is only cricket which is only possible in sunlight. Let's assume. Okay. So are you guys got the idea what is subjectivity and what is the fact? This thing is important. Hmm? Simple but little bit important. What do you say? At least two three yes little bit yeah. of encouragement huh? Why you guys are so silent today? Everything okay? Yes. Nice, nice. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue then. So, and there is one thing, one thing which is known as, uh, let's uh, say, sentiment. Uh, I just give you some demonstration. So, how many type of sentiment I can say you can extract from my uh, opinion, from my view? You can say uh, those were the positive word, and uh, some words were negative, and some was like neutral. Okay. So, uh, so these are the sentiments. Now, you may ask why I am saying all this stuff, because this is a huge business and this is where we use a lot of machine learning. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say um, election is coming in India, though once again I am lying because election just happened. But let's say election just coming in India or in any other country and some politician, let's say I am the politician. I just raise one, one mutta, one agenda. I am going to uh, improve the education. And I just wrote hashtag on uh, Twitter, which is now X now, and say education. And Indian public who has quite cheap internet, this is a start retweeting it. You just they just start uh, uh, commenting on it. And at the end of one week, I have like one million comments. Now I want to see. I want to see all those people who are active on the um, that particular platform who are just retweeting or uh, making comments on my post. It can be anything, YouTube, Instagram, anything, anything. You guys got the idea, any forum. So what is their mood? Are they happy about whatever I just post or are they angry? Should I push this agenda on my election? 
or shall I remove it because people say reaction is not good? So what I can do? Let's say there is a there is a um, commenter. Let let's let's give him the name Shaya, and Shaya just post I don't care. Okay, which means this this is not good. But there is another person. Let's say Carton. Carton say this is a uh, very important, very important. This is very important, and I will give you my vote. Sure vote. Sure vote. Too. If you are going to raise this in the parliament, I will give you my vote. So this is very positive. But the question is, out of one million comment, how I am going to analyze it? So there, I need some machine learning model which can analyze these comments for me. Okay. So there is a machine learning model, lot of machine learning model basically. And last term, this all this part was the in the in our syllabus in the week for it. Now they remove it. They just move it bit forward. But this is fundamental. That's why I want to discuss. Okay, this is the last last term. No question will come, but I I hope you guys learn something from here. So, uh, some comments. Uh, okay, I was at the camp. So, okay, I got it. You was here. Yeah. Okay. So the thing is, uh, so what can I do? So there is a machine learning model known as text blob. There are other models also, but text blob is in Python easy to use and it is totally free. Text blob. You guys also please do this work with me from text blob uh, import text blob text text b l o b blob. Just pay attention on the spelling from text blob import text blob. Okay, it's showing red lines. It is from not from that is. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My type oh, my mistake. Uh, please don't call me some mistakes. Just see, I also oh, make a lot of mistakes. Okay, now it is good. Thanks, Ven Ven uh, Venkit. No? No, it's Prashant. Okay, okay, Prashant. Okay, nice. So, so once again, there is a library known as text block. This is a Python library. Inside it, there is a small module known as text block. I don't know what's the difference, but okay, it's the, how it is. Okay, now I have my library. I can run my library. There is no error, which means I am good. I, I request you guys to do this. Okay, and if anyone is facing error, uh, then we can talk. It use in Google Colab because in Google Colab it is a kind of inbuilt library. Okay. Now I am going to define uh, a text, text, simple text. Let's say input, or let's make it a string. So no confusion. I just want a text, and uh, once I get a text, then I want to create a function, which is uh, which is about the uh, text block. Let's call it block or whatever you want to call. You can even give it uh, your name. Okay, this is a variable block. What is the block? My block is text. Blob bracket text very simple nothing very simple and I want the output what is my output blob that's the thing uh, is it is simple correct everything is fine four lines only any doubt anyone at least one or two yes or no 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 doubt you know very 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 easy no doubt no, sir yeah oh, please okay. more sir. yeah man that's the yeah thing. sorry it's fine it's fine okay now I'm gonna run it. And it will ask me an input. The input is some input here. And I'm going to put uh, what I just uh, uh, say to like type here. I don't like some. I don't like some. OK. And let's see. I'm going to click Enter. Text blob, I don't like some. OK. Uh, sorry, I need to give. OK, this is the thing. So blob means text blob dot next. Okay. That's not what I want. I want some sentiment stuff. So what I, I am going to do, blob dot sentiment. OK, now let me let me run it. Once again, my typo, blob blob dot sentiment. I'm going to run it. What is my statement? My statement was, I don't like some. And here it give me some something. OK, so let me put here. OK, let me use some you know, little bit strong type of sentence. Okay. Uh, let me run it uh, once again, and I am gonna use a little bit of strong uh, uh, sentence. Let's say um, I uh, really hate. Um, what should what don't I hate? I really hate rom com, which is a fact actually. Okay, now you guys can see it is a word polarity, but ignore the polarity. I want you guys to pay attention on this part. This is subjective. And uh, let's say there is a scale. Text block has an inbuilt scale. What is the scale? There are two where two results in text block. One is polarity. 
and second is subjectivity. Uh, subjectivity is I hope it's been okay. So subjectivity, uh, I just explain subjectivity. What is subjectivity? Uh, subjectivity means either fact or view. So the range of subjectivity is zero to one. Pay attention, these are closed bracket, which means zero and one both are included. When I have zero, which means whatever I am saying is a fact, knowledge, fact, which is true. But when I get one, which means uh, whatever I am saying is, is my opinion. Okay. Uh, I hope it is clear. So if you pay attention here, when I say I really hate Rome, Paul, then subjectivity is 0 0.9, which means whatever I am saying is a very strong manner. In a very strong manner, it is an opinion. It is an opinion. Uh, is it uh, correct? Let me run it once again. Let me run it once again. I want to show you something else. Nothing but copy paste the code. Okay. I am running it. This time it will ask me for input another uh, text. And I am going to uh, put some very common. Apple is red. Easy. It has zero subjectivity because it is considered as a fact. Okay. Now just tell me everyone, uh, is it clear or not? Subjectivity is clear or not? Yeah. Yes. Clear. Okay. So if, if I ever get the subjectivity score from 0 to 1, so you guys can read it. Okay. Maybe you're going to say, key. okay, uh, subjectivity is clear. We will, we will do a little bit more experiment, but for now, subjectivity is clear. Ah, yes, uh, please. Well, I've just typed, uh, I like cars, but I'm getting subjectivity 0. Oh, ah, yeah. Once again, uh, not all the machine learning models are 100%. Okay. Uh, for spelling mistakes also, it is giving 0. Yeah, it happens. It happens. And there is a reason why the spelling mistake uh, cost you more. Uh, we will discuss it. This is a today's topic. Okay. So, but about the, if you think that it has a 100% accurate thing, no. Let's say if I see something in the slang, let's say uh, Carter is a good friend of mine. And maybe I'm going to say uh, something, something which, which doesn't sound very formal, but Carlton Monkey, okay, Amit is in the good mood and he's just saying in a fun way. Let's say, oh man, you are just, yours too. But we know that, okay. I have, it is a kind of positive manner, kind of showing affection. But in that manner, machine learning model will be confused. He will say, machine learning model may think that Amit is abusing uh, Shane, Amit is abusing uh, Venkit. Okay. So, so machine learning models are uh, not that much accurate. And this is not that hi fi advanced model. That's why, uh, as I'm saying now, uh, we just update the content. I mean, not me. Anand sir updated the content. So we will, we will discuss it. But I hope uh, subjectivity is. Uh, Clear. Mm -hmm. yes, Two, three years and please don't call me with that. I mean, don't call me, sir. Okay, it's fine. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> now I have a feeling that you guys are teasing me. Fine. Okay, let's talk about the polarity. Polarity is simply sentiment. And we just discussed sentiment positive, negative. Okay, positive, negative, and let's say uh, neutral. So polarity range is a little different. It goes from minus one uh, to plus one. Okay. And there is somewhere in between, there is zero. It is continuous. Okay, It is not like discrete one, zero, minus one. No, it is continuous. So as you guys can see, uh, minus one is like very negative. If it, something is closer to minus one, it is negative. Okay. And if something is uh, zero, it is neutral. And if something is uh, plus one or near plus to plus one, one or near to, uh, I can hear my own voice. Uh, can you please? Okay. Then it is positive. Okay. So, so let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, let's look here. I am saying I really hate rom -com. So you see, it, it it is giving a very negative type of vibe. Though it is not harming anyone, but this word I really hate. So it is giving a kind of negative vibe. So just see, it is minus uh, eight, minus zero point eight, which is very close to minus one, which means it is a negative sentiment. Now just think. Maybe you are going to say, okay, what is the meaning of it? Man, it is your opinion. No, just think. If I am just running here in this uh, uh, campaign and I just raise a agenda that I am going to inform education and then I realize most of the comment which I am getting ha uh, has these type of words or has this type of uh, sentiment, which means I need to consider something. Okay. So as you can see, polarity is minus it or minus pointed, which is very much negative. And here polarity is zero zero. It, it doesn't care. It is since it is a very much factual. So there is no polarity. This is very much neutral. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think? 
Any doubt? Please ask. No. No. Okay. So, no. so let me do a little bit uh, one one experiment. Okay. Just let me let me just write the three three statement and let's see. Uh, copy and paste. Let me convert it. I am writing P text, which means positive text. I will write a N text, uh, which means uh, let's say zero text. Which means neutral, and I will write a negative text and text. Okay, let's see. So um, let's someone suggest me some positive text. Uh, anyone? Come on, man. Amit Kumar Gupta is a good person. This is Nare. This is Nare. <laughs> this is Nare. <laughs> okay, let, let me let me modify it. Uh, Nare. Sir is a very, very uh, good person. I think it is going to computer is going to get confused whether I have to give one or uh, two for this answer. <laughs> but yeah. the range is between minus one and one only, minus one to plus one. Yes. So let's let's talk about a little bit uh, negative. Okay, now now let me make some joke on myself. Amit is a very okay. Let let let's let's, let's okay. Not very very. Amit is a monster i mean it was a monster it was a monster during paradox and i know shane will be at me. okay and uh, something uh, neutral that is absolutely true <laughs> i knew it and let's let's pick something uh, uh neutral let's see this is a dog uh, this is a dog and now I want to zero will cause error, I think. The first second variable. Yes, that's what I was. But it is Python, I think. Zero. We can use numbers at the start. Huh? No? No, no. I don't think we okay. can okay. use it just uh, starting. Okay, then, then let me write new. Okay. So okay, let me modify. Okay, leave it. Otherwise, we are giving the very clear indication. So it was a monster dealing part. Let's see what is the statement. But once again, uh, be, maybe being a monster is not good. Uh, I mean, not bad always because we have a lot of literature which supports this thing. Because see, the thing is, uh, we, if we are using machine learning model, maybe machine learning model is not able to make difference between a fiction story or a, a news. So, so, so let me try. I don't know what will be the answer. Okay. So blob is equal to text. Uh, this thing, this is fix. This is this is a function. I need to put uh, statements here. So let me just make different cells. Uh, here, here, and uh, here. What I'm going to put here? Uh, no, positive text inside. This blob is just a variable which I defined here uh, when I made the function. So don't be confused. If you are going to make your function, you can put any name. You guys can give your name, the name, uh, Carlton, Cheyenne. Okay. Okay, here I'm gonna put uh, new neutral neutral text, and here I'm gonna put uh, end text, which is negative text. I mean, we are thinking that it should be negative. Okay, so now now let's run. Uh, my statements are good. First positive. Okay, let's look at the positivity. First thing is it subjectivity? The answer is yes. It is 0 0.8, nearly 78 percent subjectivity, which we all are happy. Is it positive? Uh, some uh, you were right. I mean, I'm feeling very bad now. <laughs> you you got less than what you expected, huh? You were expecting two, but no. No, no, not that. Uh, Naren is a good uh, person. It's become so subjective. It is a fact. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Can't no, no, that's, that's good. Okay, Lord. Let's talk about the neutral. And I know you guys can. Okay. Everyone is agree, correct? Everyone is agree. Uh, I mean. That question is, are you guys able to understand these numbers? That's my concern here. Yes. You guys are very clear about what is yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. So because that's where we are going to work. Okay. And now the, let's check uh, if it is negative or once again, it is thinking that I was a, it's a fact. It is taking it as a fact. Okay. Man. Oh, I just kept subjective to zero here. Why? I, I seriously don't know, but okay, it become a fact now because it was true. Because oh, I think it, was... it heard me saying, "No, Narayan is a good person." I gave him <laughs> a subjectivity. Let us give the third one at least to a zero for Zabit. 
yeah maybe so let me tell you a very bad word because it is it will no. make it more but i think this is wrong no like uh how once, can yeah. one second one second as I, I was saying if you remove very bad let's say it was a monster during protocols maybe it's, a, it's not a bad, bad thing because in the lot of sports commentary if you watch mma and racing though so they generally use this word as appreciation so so i don't yeah. know uh, now we use this very bad word, so it is showing this is subjective. And once again, it is quite negative, okay? And it is the start difference between uh, positive comment and negative comment. So my only meaning is this is something uh, which is very much in business sentiment analysis is a business thing, and uh, that's how if someone is release a movie and they realize okay this much percentage population was positive over this movie, uh, let's say Salman Khan movie. Salman Khan generally make a movie which has very uh, predictable storyline but still they work good maybe they are able to analyze all this sentiment whatever we post on instagram youtube and twitter or after trailer so if just imagine if i have a csv file which has uh, 1000 lines uh, like we were doing the practice last last to last session when we were just script all the discourse or many comments so just think i already have i we already know how to find a csv file which is full of comment uh, that comment from the youtube or discourse whatever and if I can run this text blob stuff on it, then I can get exactly uh, what the people think about this topic. Just think about it and tell me. See, this is the same thing which I did uh, last to last term uh, when I approach a professor. Then I just scrape everything, all the comments from his lecture. I, I just run a for loop or something for loop. And I just put, find all the text, all the sentiments, and I show this professor. He said, "This is what I did as a presentation. I mean, uh, I, I just make a presentation there." So it was a. Uh, I mean, I find it this tool really helpful if you want to show something which is uh, subjective. Let's say some company launch a product, and you want to make something. Okay, you are a manager, or maybe you are a worker. You want to show your manager. Okay, whatever you are doing. Uh, people are not thinking good about it or people are, people are very excited about it then this tool is really useful just a four line of tool four line of code you can use for loop you can make csv file you guys already know about the pandas so this stuff is cool this is cool actually i i really like this thing so this is a little bit out of syllabus but now tell me uh, what you guys think about it is it clear yes could you please explain it from the start uh, i am sorry i joined a little late and what's your name Sandhya. Okay, Sandhya, I think this is your first session. I don't know you, but okay, fine. It's, it's totally fine. This is not my first session. Okay, maybe my first This is your first appearance in my session, but fine. Okay, what about the other? I, I will explain it once again for Sandhya, but what about the other? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, what, yes? You want more explanation or is it good? <laughs> yes, sir. I want more explanation. Okay. I don't get subjectivity. Okay, okay. And what your name? Harshita. Okay, Harshita. Harshita, let's let's talk one to one. I'm gonna say a okay. few sentences to you and just tell me, tell me honestly, if, how which type of vibe, which type of feeling you are getting from his sentence. Okay, Harshita, I think you are not, you was not paying full attention to my to my TED talk. I did, sir. No, no, I, this that this is the statement. <laughs> Actually, uh, I. Okay, accepted. It's just negative, right? You feel bad. Uh, yeah. Okay, how dare this uh, TA who don't know much and this just is calling. No, I'm gonna say, but it's fine, Harshita. Uh, I, I I know that you are very regular in my session and always you pay attention. So maybe there is something you you were busy, or but you are a good student. Now, come on, man. This is a this is a, neutral. This was positive. But the, but the only thing is, these all are my opinion. Is it fully positive? Huh? Is it fully positive? Okay, now you, you raise the one thing. Is it fully positive? Okay, so what is the meaning of fully positive? Fully positive, simple thing. If something is greater than zero, okay, because zero is neutral, but less than one, okay. If something is greater than zero, but less than, uh, or, or equal to, or you can see uh, this. I mean, how can I write it? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, wrong one. Wrong one. This this. Okay. Then it is positive. Now, now the question is fully positive. Let's let's uh, create some some uh, hypothetical solution.
Now, this is neutral. Minus 3 or 0 0.3 is positive, but it is not very strong positive. Okay, it is still uh, towards uh, neutral. 0.99 is very much positive. 0.9 is very positive. 0.7 we I am going to consider as good positive. So there is no such thing as fully positive. I mean, maybe there is such thing as fully positive. Let's say uh, that uh, when I was just uh, wrote this comment, Narayan is very, very, very uh, good person. That's a fully positive. No one can uh, explain it in a other way. Okay. So, but your question is, what is subjectivity? See, whatever uh, what I made two comments, and uh, when I talk to you, and though these both comments are just my opinion, these are my views. So. Whenever you read any comment or any statement, then you you have uh, I mean there are two broad categories. Either it is a fact or it is just opinion. Okay. So if it is a fact, then its subjectivity is zero. But if it is not a fact, then there is a question: How much of it is an opinion and how much of it is a fact? So in that case, in that case, my subjectivity reigns between. I am using the square bracket, which means included both numbers. In that case, my subjectivity range between 0 to 1. If it is 0, then it is a uh, then it's a pure fact. But if it is more than 0, let's see. Once again, once again, let me copy paste this stuff. This, which means 0 0.3, which means okay, it is more like a fact uh, rather than opinion, but I am not sure. 0 0.7. It is, yeah, it is more like an opinion rather than a fact. 0 0.5, I am not sure. It may be fact, it may be opinion. 0.99, I am pretty sure that this is a fact. One, I am 100% certain, not machine learning, is 100% certain that this is a fact. So that's the subjectivity. When you measure something on the scale of factual, fact or opinion, then that's the subjectivity. Uh, so, so one here means an opinion. One means, yes, my machine learning is defined as a pure opinion, mm -hmm. a strong opinion. There is no okay. fact, just opinion. Okay. Okay. So that's, so that's the anatomy of a sentence. Oh, oh, someone who want to make comment? Anyone? Carlton, Shoyan, Narin, or anyone? Anyone want to make comment? No? Okay. So so these are the sentences. So what uh, about popularity then? Uh, no popularity, that's polarity. I will explain it. Now the question is, when I was talking to Harshita, I just make a positive comment in a negative comment. So you can say these are some feelings, some sentiments. So how can I explain sentiment in this in this library? The term is polarity. What is polarity? Polarity. Sir, is... sir mm -hmm. can you say it's neutral if it's not fully positive or it's not fully negative? Of course, we, we just saw this neutral statement. This is the dog. If I am saying this is the dog, I also wrote something above. Apple is red. If apple is red, this is a fact. Okay. And I also wrote there, okay. uh, uh, um, sun, sun, I don't, uh, what? I don't, uh, sun is bright. Sun is bright. See, sun is red, subject to zero. Okay, when I wrote uh, apples are red, then it is a fact. This is a dog. This is a fact that it has nothing positive, nothing negative. So polarity is zero, and polarity lies between minus one to plus one. I just wrote it somewhere. Um, yeah, polarity is sentiment, which is minus one to plus one. It is if it is zero, then it is neutral. If it is negative, then it is negative, negative emotion. If it is positive number, then it is a positive emotion. Once again, you can see is it slightly positive, strongly pro positive. So it depends. If it is like uh, zero point two, then you can say okay, slightly positive. But if it is zero point nine nine, strongly positive. Okay. So these are the two things. So that's the text block library. I hope everyone is clear. Uh, if you guys want three or four minutes of time, you can take your time. Just do, write these lines of code. Try yourself. Once again, this is. Uh, a very primitive type of machine learning model, not that much accurate. So just don't think that it is not giving me the correct thing. Okay, these are the four lines of code. My collab is giving uh, sun is bright as 0. 0.7. Okay. Polarity point uh, 0. 0.7, 0, 0, 0, something. And uh, subjectivity uh, uh, is 0. 0.79. 0. 0.79. I don't know why the subjectivity is so high, but the polarity is very much on the mark, 0. 0.07. 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Then that's sun is bright. And sun rises in east, then that is giving zero. So uh, both. Okay. That is a fact. So. <laughs> yeah, well, once again, this is not 100% accurate. So yeah. Maybe it is considering sun as a boy or something. 
Maybe it's the that's why son. Huh? Son is the name. <laughs> son. Cartoon is suggesting that son maybe the name for person. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. So I hope I, you guys are uh, understand this stuff. Maybe you guys can try it uh, at your home or something. Now, as I am repeating that this is very much primitive thing. This is not that accurate. Uh, so let's try a little bit advanced thing, huh? I'm gonna to try ChatGPT. So let me try ChatGPT. Um, hey GPT. My ChatGPT screen is visible, right? This is different window. Okay. Yeah. Hey GPT. Uh, I want to find the sentiment of few following word, um, following statements. S T A T E M E N T S. Please. P L E A S A. Man, I I am not that good in typing English. Uh, please um, tell me. Uh, tell me. Okay, please please help. Me. Simple please help. Me. And I'm just gonna type uh, same same statement which which we just used few minutes back. Uh, our positive, negative, and uh, neutral subject uh, statement. Copy, paste. Uh, copy and paste. Okay, I'm gonna click uh, and uh, enter. Let's see, let's see what will happen. Okay, uh, it is good. Sentiment is very, very, very okay. Narendra, okay, but you guys can say that this is this was easy, but I want some score. Also want some score like uh, like text block. Uh, like okay, I'm not mentioning text block. Maybe it will get died and it fetch some stuff from the text block. I'm gonna say uh, like of uh, from minus one to plus one scale. Okay, let's see. Uh, come on. Here. It's taking time. Maybe the server is down or uh, okay. Narayan sir is very very good person. Sentiment score zero to nine. Okay, sentiment score fine, fine. Huh? This is good. Now I want to use some kind of ambiguous statement. What you guys say? I mean, some statement which is not very good here, but I can use there. So, uh, let's let's try. Mm, let's try some some. I want some ambiguous statement, and I need some help from you. Any one of you, just tell me something. I'm gonna run it in the text block, and I'm gonna uh, run the same statement in ChatGPT. Okay, suggest me some. Little bit ambiguous. Okay, I'm gonna take the name, guys. Come on, man. You guys should respond. Whatever I'm gonna say on my screen. Okay, Madhuresh. It is raining today. This is very much factual. Okay, let me uh, someone is happily crying. That's really amazing. That's really amazing. That's not the right? Yeah, yeah. Someone is happily C R Y. This is this is really good. Even I don't know what is the sentiment here. Uh, sounds like positive. I don't know, man. Someone is happily crying. Okay, subject two is six. Okay, and polarity is minus two. Uh, even as a human, I am confused here, but I will consider this kind of positive. Someone is happily crying. Now I am going to ask this same thing uh, to Chat GPT. Now, Anna, uh, now, um, this statement. Someone is happily crying. That's better. What do you guys think? That's better. Huh? Slightly positive? Yes. I agree here. I agree here. This this is better because that's what I was thinking. Someone is happily crying. It is giving me a little bit of positive vibes, but again crying, but happily crying. So yeah. So there's a difference. Now there's a very huge question. I, I mean, we decided the chat GPT is better. And this is chat GPT's 3.5 model because I just expired all of my uh turbo uh, four four or omni model, but fine. Maybe uh, that will can I ask something? Of course, man, every time. 
someone is happily crying. I mean, it, it should be a positive sentiment only, no? Why slightly positive? Because happily it's, crying. It's not, uh, I mean, doing something not, happily. See, just think uh, from the perspective of machine learning. They are happy, but it is still crying. Someone is happily crying. I mean, Kushi see, ha, but if, let's say if you are going to cry happily, then your father is not going to come up. Shabash beta or ro. But <laughs> just, just, you know? So man, just crying itself is kind of, okay, man, I don't want to cry. I mean, I don't know how to explain. We as a human being can relate. But if you ask me, define it in the mathematics, or I ask you to define it in the mathematical logic, and we all will be confused. I don't know what to do. If one of my friends start crying happily, then I will not sure that what should I do? Shall I give him a toffee and see you? Carlton just don't cry. No, no offense, Carlton. You uh, excuse me. Yes, oh, yes, please. You change that sentence to someone is crying or someone is crying, crying like me of happiness or something like that. Crying, okay. crying because of <laughs> because he is happy. That's someone the is possible. crying of happy happiness. Some. One is C R Y I N G crying of happiness. I feel like this is something is grammatical mistake, but let it be happiness. Yeah. Someone I, is I, I just am uh, trying something different actually. Okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. And what's your name, brother? Crying mm -hmm. happily, maybe. No, let it be wrong. Let it be a little bit wrong. Let's see what the our machine learning model and change. Crying happily is giving oh. the polarity of plus point three. Or, or 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 you write it like uh, grammatically correct. Uh, you can no 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 no, no, no. A, Let it, it be. Let it be wrong. Yeah, let yeah. it be wrong. Let's, there's something wrong. You know? We just put five or six uh, grammatically correct. No no less. Okay. Subjectivity is four. Polarity is positive. Now let's see what what subjectivity is. Um, now this. Now this someone is crying of happiness. Okay, it, this is very positive, but I don't know why someone is happily crying. It's like no, it, I, 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 go, I got it. It is it is grammatically also correct only. You can you can just uh, write it. It was a cry of happiness. You just okay, write it. I think the score. It was a cry of happiness. But I think the score will give more seen. positive uh, result. Actually. Okay, it was, it a, was. a cry of uh, air and space. You have to put it. Oh, oh for, forgive me. It was a cry of happiness. And it is, yeah, once again. Uh, you see uh, the polarity has increased. No? Yeah, yeah, so the, let me try this statement here. Um, now, this. Chat GPT may be thinking, you, uh, who is this stupid guy who is just asking a stupid question? But like, it's just fun, man. Uh, express a positive sentiment, which is a good plus seven, though less than someone is crying of happiness. Okay. So, so whatever I, I, I feel like different between models. Uh -huh. So I, 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 I certainly feel like the chat GPT is giving me better results. Okay. But now here come the questions. Uh, if I, I need to scrape that movielens.com website and there are a lot of uh, comments and I want to run through all those comments. So I was about to use for loop, but I don't know how to use for loop in chat GPT. Okay. But I can use that for loop in text block in this my Python file. But once again, I am not very much happy, but I'm not very satisfied with the performance of uh, Python or text block. But I want, so I want to use chat GPT. So what's the solution? What's the solution, man? So, so I, actually I didn't know that there was actually a, any solution, but then I, uh, unanswer, I watch, I mean, I, I mean, also in this lecture while recording. So then I learned something that there is something called uh, API key, uh, which is provided by chat GPT or machine learning models. And with the help of those keys, see, this interface may be beautiful. This interface may be intuitive, just a WhatsApp chat, but it is not very much effective. But this is not very much effective. You uh, you guys going to be agree with me. This is far more effective. We can just create the cell. We can just create the room. We can just modify it here. We can modify it there. Okay. So with the help of API keys, we can bring the power of chat GPT to our Python node. Okay. So what happened? What happened? My interface, see, this is just a 
interface this is just a front end okay this is just a front end so my front end may be anything but at the back there is some other logic i don't know which name it may be python or whatever but there is a logic so we can do one thing we can just directly access to the logic you guys uh, was in my uh, you guys were in, uh, in my uh, uh scripting session and then we saw that with the help of api we can get whatever we want to show on my page we can get all the information in my python notebook without any fancy um, graphical user interface graphics or we can just give get accurate uh, proper information okay with the help of api and uh, i remember we covered api topic in our previous sessions okay so that's what uh, that's what answer uh, use in this lecture if you guys have never uh, haven't watched the this lecture i i highly recommend that this is, these are from anand sir director i mean uh, very recent lecture and this is me he, 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 I, i got up to this in x class so these are just i, I insist please uh, watch these lectures and this is really good okay so today i just covered sentiment analysis no no we also covered it with of prompt engineering whatever we write here it is known as a prompt whatever we are writing here as you guys can see initially my prompt was not good my prompt was not good uh, so it is just giving me some positive or negative just a verbal stuff then i improve my prompt then i improve my prompt that i wanted very specific minus 1 to plus 1 after it it is start giving me some very proper answers okay very proper answers. so this is called prompt engineering so the thing is uh, just right uh, to the point whatever you want now we just try to bring this uh, power of chat gpt or artificial intelligence or llm in our python notebook this is important stuff i want you guys to think about it i mean whatever we just study and then we will start if you guys have any question ask or just anyone have any doubt or anything please ask and allow me to take just a little bit of water today okay you guys can discuss or you guys can just just think about it or maybe you guys just want to run a collab yourself you guys want to test one or two statement this is the code here mm, these two lines okay you need to import and you need to run in this manner simple python please try i will be back in two or three minutes So how are you guys um, finding um, week five so far? I mean, you, have you tried anything or? Yeah, actually, that graded assignment. I am not getting that number when once we uh, question number three. I don't know how. Question three is it? Yeah. Now let me have a quick look. I asked ChatGPT to give me the JSON, uh, mm -hmm. and and it is uh, when we verify with uh, whatever uh, told in the lectures, it is almost same. Almost, it is same. Proper JSON object, but still that. Yeah. This is um. yeah i i understand that uh, this can this is actually a difficult thing to get right i think he in fact anand sir probably has made a comment in this yeah in fact he also has said the same thing that it's uh, this is a hard exercise so i can't quite uh... so i mean one thing is so that number will come if i start uh, uh, doing it for a long time changes some changes here there keep on yes. uh, uploading yeah. the json file so so uh, i mean we will cover some of the 
techniques like function calling did you try function calling at all or no i just see hard way if you want to see we it needs the json schema no so schema yeah, yeah. for the above structure correct so it is json object well, yeah. i think it uh, think uh, something like this i have typed everything okay okay in the sense i asked chat gpt it gave me and i cut and pasted it in the uh, the required website uh, whichever it's setting no and then for do that right right okay um i mean you're going along the right lines uh, it's just that uh, uh, i mean his hint is true because you're not the only person who faced that problem so uh, the validation part of it uh, has to be done very carefully is uh, all i can really help you as far as the graded assignment is concerned um but we will go over some of the techniques um, you know not just today but probably in the next session as well of uh, what you can do you use to uh, maybe refine your uh, prompt engineering as it were to to get a more precise answer out of chat gpt i i mean in fact that's what uh, function calling is all about it's about giving it very precise um uh no you want to be frank i am just telling i copied the entire question and gave that to the uh, chat gpt <laughs> oh right yeah yeah no no that's true uh, but uh, what i'm saying is something have you studied function calling in chat gpt oh i think i will have to do it i did okay not. yeah so that's my point so function calling is a very specific tool uh, that uh, chat gpt has and uh, what function calling does is you define a very structured function in chat gpt and you tell it you want precisely this kind of uh, output back out of it and then uh, it ends up uh, providing a, a lot more rigorous uh, treatment to the output it gives back to you and uh, that's uh, uh, possibly one way this could be solved uh, because sometimes you want very precise structuring of imp uh, information uh, from unstructured data because what you what you receive is unstructured data right and you want to get very structured data back out of it so that's that's one uh, aspect of function calling in chat gpt that's okay i will explore that uh, carlton but okay. uh, uh, my point is i am answering to the question it needs a json object and i am giving okay. the json object but it uh, there cannot be two types of json ob object no the, for whatever the uh, requirement uh, as per the question uh, yeah. they are given let me button. let me put it to you this way um <laughs> if you you know about hash codes right okay yeah. hashing so yeah hashing so when you do hashing if there is even one character wrong will you get a completely different hash code obviously yeah so that's the, that's why yeah i understood that yeah, i understood yeah. that well, the, just the hash yeah. code the last four digit or uh, of the code uh, only we are going to four or five digits which is been asked here we are going to give if there is a small mistake which is also told in the question also no if yeah uh, if there is a mistake obviously the hashing will be different yeah i mean yeah. this same issue has been raised by the, with the, by other students as well so you are not the only one who has the difficulty but uh, yeah i mean uh, just um, maybe I will, post. Try, I will try we have enough time 17th yeah. up to 17th it is there yeah and you can even post in discourse ask what techniques other people have used you can uh, tag anand sir and ask him if he's got any advice uh, that he can provide guidance specifically uh, you know to help get to it yeah i will try once again then i think yeah. i can post it in the discourse thanks okay. kalpan ji yeah no worries no worries Uh, okay, everyone. Uh, let's talk about. I hope you guys tried a little bit of uh, sentiment analysis by yourself. Okay, let's let's talk about the next topic, which is uh, here. This lecture. So, what happened in this lecture? Uh, is my uh, am I audible? Yeah, hey, I mean, G, you are audible. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Please don't call me G. I'm just okay. So now, Amit, Amit Kumar G. Gupta, no. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so here, uh, so here, uh, you better all of you please open this Jupyter notebook, or maybe you just want to look what I'm gonna do. Okay, see, just try to understand this notebook first. 
so here as you can see we are using this op open ai which is the parent company of uh, chat gpt and i just like we did some scraping you you guys remember request.get okay we are just going to copy paste the uh, uh, url and then we just uh, use some little bit headers you remember we use cookies and headers when we were doing scraping so this is a proper code made by uh, anansar few days back so we are going to use this code we are not going to touch i mean we are not going to make some some something lot of modification here and what happened see just try to understand we just import the libraries we decide a key api key now this is a question what is api key see we can use this chat gpt as much as we want but if we want to bring this chat gpt into our uh, python notebook or like we want to process some bulk information then we need to purchase its license we need to purchase that key and that key comes with a cost and there are some limitations let's see i mean the power is unlimited it will give you more features than this simple but the thing is there is some uh, charge per token now there is a word token just remember it uh, this is something token we will discuss it soon so there is a charge per token not word token token is important thing i will discuss i will discuss okay so there is some charges so what what happened uh, here if you if you read maybe you guys got a mail or you guys better open your inbox and search this mail please mail title large language model ai proxy okay that's the so you can search it is from 9th july large language model ai proxy so here uh, I, iit madras and anand sir tds team they just purchase some tokens and they give each of us 50 cent of credit out of those tokens so i am going to use those tokens here okay so just find this email you can type in search box large language models and it is from 9th july some of you shan just told me that some of, some of the students uh, no i think it's venkat venkat told me that some of the students uh, is not able to find this email then i cannot do anything but i hope at least majority of you got this email so just open this email okay now once again back to our statement here uh, notebook so what happened here is the api key is the that is specific token okay that's a specific token number which we are going to insert here i will explain it little more okay then we just use some kind of request you guys know how to use request then after it i find some solution we will discuss we will discuss just overview we find some solution and out of that solution we just use some uh, some some information and something and uh, we got this output this much output after it now at this point at this point my chat gpt is prepared so whatever we can see here whatever we can see here this chat gpt that this is ready to answer no matter what you are going to write it will give you answer so these two cells they are making my chat gpt ready i think not here not even here you need to include this cell too not totally full but this cell too okay because here is some api key we will discuss and i will try to write this code uh, so you guys can understand better so what happened after uh, after using these three cells first cells uh, important library second cells defining something about chat gpt third cell uh, providing it uh, some kind of uh, api key or uh, something giving some structure this consider it like this page is ready now i can ask something i can give it any bulk report in, uh, as a for loop and it will give me quite a good result Let's see uh, here this is a movie statement and if you click here you will find this movie review stuff let me let me check uh, csv file mm, 20 21 lines okay so it it means i want to find the sentiment of these statement so if it is about a chat gpt i need to type it 21 time or but here i can do it faster in the for, for loop so here i have my input file this is my input file we, we just we just saw and i am putting this input file either as a individual statement or one by one i am using i log i will try to explain it more and then i am getting some statement okay here are some statement and maybe i put it as a for loop okay here is apply apply works as a for loop uh, not exactly but very much it is even more efficient than for loop carton is suggesting me 
and I got this positive positive statement. This is a statement which is given. See, here some sentiment is given. A statement, sentiment. And this is sentiment which I just get from using this API key. And you can see it is very much accurate, uh, very much same. There is maybe one or two differences, but okay, fine. Okay, so that's how we can use API key. So I was hoping that maybe you guys watch at least some of you watch the lecture and uh, work on this notebook. But I, I am a little bit, uh, according to survey, Carlton is telling me none of you watch the lecture. So I'm a little bit disappointed here. No, no, no. I, I watched two lectures. Uh, okay. First one and yeah, second one. I watched two lectures, though nice. I need to rewatch them. Nice. So and I watched one lecture. Okay, I recognize the voice of Harshita and voice of Nareen, but third, I don't know. But okay, fine. I'm Sandhya, you forget me every time. Okay, okay, forgive me. Forgive you me, forget. Okay, okay, so 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 everyone, so so I have one thing. Either if, uh, we can just copy paste this notebook and work on it, or I have one more thing. We can write a notebook. So what do you guys say? Which is better, writing or just reading it? Writing would be better, I think. Writing would be better. Okay. Then open your notebook. What are you waiting for? Huh? Chalo, start ah, it off. My notebook is open. Okay, open your notebook and um, just just start it. Huh? Okay, maybe maybe this will take some time. Okay, because this is uh, once again this is my uh, I'm also very much new in this topic. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna make some mistake. Bear with me. You guys know this is my old habit. Okay, let's start. Let's start. I'm gonna remove this old notebook. Let's do one, 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 one everything. Just open your collab notebook huh? and uh, we are going to start. Just name it something nice because we are going to do something very interesting today. I remove all of those. You guys are good in uh, text now. Okay, just give me a minute. Hey, Shivani. Uh, so with regards to using uh, the API key, there's no limit on the number of times you can use the API key, but it's, uh, yeah, as Narain says, it's up to uh, how many tokens you use uh, up in chat GPT. So uh, there is some, uh, there's a concept of tokenization and it has some value. Uh, I think 50 cents has so many um, tens of thousands of tokens or half, maybe half or half million tokens or something like that. Uh, and we'll explain that uh, a little bit later after uh, Amit uh, goes through some of the uh, notebook because one of the cells will return as you will see in a, just a short while, it will tell you how much it costs you to run a particular uh, prompt and get a response from it. So I hope that helps. Uh, okay, great. Okay, so so let's uh, open, everyone please open your notebook and we are gonna start. Huh? Just give it something nice name. Mm -hmm. Let's call it LLM API because that's what we are going to do, LLM underscore API, OK? Uh, this code is going to be a little bit longer, but OK, bear with me. I mean, we already have quite a long session, so OK, fine. OK, I will try to explain everything. Uh, but if you guys have any doubt, please ask. And if you guys have any opinion, and if you guys think that uh, I'm missing something, and you guys can provide better information, please jump in. Same goes for you, Carlton, too. OK, OK, let's start. First thing, import request. This is requests, and I want uh, at least one volunteer who can tell me in one line what is the meaning of the request library here. What is the work? Hmm? It's used for one. making web requests. Uh, exactly, and we are very well familiar of it because we have been have already repeatedly did some four or five scripting session. Then we are going to use Google Colab. Uh, collab, just pay attention of the typos and mistakes. Import user data. Now, this is something interesting. What is user data? Okay, one thing, one very important thing, guys, everyone. Uh, there is no need to remember this notebook, and there is no need to practice this notebook again and again and again. Like, I insist that you guys better practice uh, scripting, but not this. In fact, if I am um, just writing this notebook, it's just because. Since very few of you watch the lecture, so we can understand it better. And since this is new for me, so I also want a little bit of practice. Otherwise, don't think that they are going to ask you to write the whole uh, code in uh, ROE, or maybe they ask some critical question in final interim exam. But uh, just don't waste a lot of time. Try to understand. That's why I'm writing this. Uh, we are doing this uh, hand-on practice. 
okay so there is nothing which i am going to modify or i am going to change it it is very much time i am going to just uh, copy paste uh, most of the lines here and we will discuss it okay chalo now now the question is what is iso data so there is a this symbol here key and i know we really never use this key but okay let's let's work on it see the thing is this key here here i can i can set some 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 value here okay i will talk about it i will talk about it so uh, as i mentioned ki if i want to work on chat gpt api then i want that api here i want that power of chat gpt the mechanism or you can see infrastructure of chat gpt behind my collab notebook but how can chat gpt recognize if i am the authorized person if i am how can the chat gpt will know that i am the right person who purchased the key who purchased the token from chat gpt website or counter and using it here so the answer is key okay chat gpt give me some kind of proxy key as uh, it's here in the email this is my proxy key or chat gpt key i don't know what is it it is air proxy token maybe this is another model or, or something so so this is the key which i'm going to use please don't look at it i have very limited account don't don't steal my key i am going to define it here api key once again a variable you can change the name you can just write it as a name as a key but okay and i am going to write user data dot get i am making a get request and what i want to get i want to get my key okay i want to get my api key so let me call my key i am very strongly saying this is my key this is personally my key okay so now you guys can see one thing you guys can see thing Okay, why Amit? Why are you writing this API key inside my key or something? My key inside API key. You can just directly. Why don't you just copy paste this my key here? You know, this is the string, and why don't you just paste it here? So the reason is, this is a secret stuff. I am sharing my screen, and maybe I need to code. Uh, this I need to show this code to my colleague or, or some some my client, and I don't want to. I don't want them to look at whatever the information I am providing here. So what can I do? i can open this key i can add a new secret i can call this secret what is the name of my secret my key i can call this secret my key and here i can provide the value and what is my value my value is this which uh, all of you got in a email and this is quite a long string i can say this is very much secure no one can guess it and i am going to just uh, paste this value here so and i'm going to just hide it okay i cannot hide it okay i can hide it okay this is the step i i i i request everyone please do sir, it sir i have one query yes please like uh, this api key has very limited tokens to access mm -hmm. and if we do a lot of like practice so it can exhaust the tokens so how we will proceed for the graded assignment then? uh th yeah that's the thing Uh, this uh, amount of token is very much limited, and this is trust me. Fifty cent is nearly you will get one million token. It is a huge amount. Trust me, it is a huge amount. You can you can run this notebook five times. You can run your uh, graded assignment at least three four times, and it will. I think you can run it even more, but it will not exhaust. But but don't use otherwise. If you are going to use like a, a very huge data, if you are going to use some DALI, you know DALI, uh, it is also subsidiary of uh, OpenAI and it is create generate pictures. Then it will exhaust very fast. So please don't play with it. I I, I can understand having the power of AI seems good, but please don't play and uh, use very limited. It's it will be fine for a graded assignment and uh, practice. Carlton want to mention something. So, so the other thing is uh, uh, good practice is uh, a bit like how when uh, you uh, we have talked about when accessing api as little as possible and um, uh, that's what you got to do when you structure your notebooks uh, make sure that you only hit the api when you need it and then for the once you get the response from it then you can do your debugging in different cells so don't run the debugging of your various cells with you hitting the api key every time so do the fetch once get a response 
store that response in a variable, and then you start do, doing your debugging on uh, the rest of your code without hitting the API again and again. So that's a common uh, mistake that uh, one might do. They might write all their code in one cell or in even in one Python py file. Uh, that's usually a very bad idea. That's why working with Google Colab and limiting your API access to a single cell, hitting the API once, and then storing that response in a variable, which Amit will show you in just a couple of minutes, that's good practice. And you will avoid using up uh, your to token very quickly uh, because you can use it up very quickly in debugging if you uh, are not careful. So I hope that's a little bit of a tip that will help you with that. Okay, so what is a proxy? Key. Okay, so uh, Open API provides some keys, uh, but uh, we can't buy them directly. So what uh, Amit, uh, sorry, what Anand sir has done is uh, he has uh, leveraged his own uh, company's resources to purchase the key uh, through his company, and then he's distributing through a proxy, so a, a stand-in. Uh, he's distributing the keys to us. Uh, so that's how, uh, because he buys it in bulk, and then he distributes the resource to us uh, through these uh, proxy okay. keys. So he's like a retailer of uh, Open API in that sense, right? So Open API is the big wholesaler; is bring, giving him the keys in bulk. Uh, we can't buy, th you know, whatever thousands of dollars worth of keys. So, but then he's distributing that resource to us, and he's using a proxy to do that. So that's why the keys we are getting are what are called proxy keys. And the API calls we'll be making will not be directly to Open API, but we will still be using the Open API's uh, in, uh, uh, what do you call for that infrastructure to run the code that we are going to be doing. But it will be via his uh, company's uh, servers, and so that's why uh, you will see that we'll be changing the endpoints in this notebook and uh, using his Air Proxy uh, key. So that's how we'll be doing. But it will still be Open AI in the background that is actually running. That's some new information for me, Carlton, that uh, whatever we are going to do here, it will go via announcer's company and his company. I was thinking about doing some 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 crazy stuff, but now no, I will defend myself. OK, thank you, man. OK, everyone, uh, I hope everything is very much clear. Huh? Uh, thank you for asking the question. And oh, please, please don't do anything stupid. Uh, otherwise, as a TA, me and Carlton are going to die. OK, so uh, please tell me, if are you guys able to understand about the key? and uh, how to bring your key here OK? Um, maybe a few one or two hands or yeah, yes right. open mic will be good OK? so just uh, everyone got a key i hope everyone got a key here and just put your key here uh, is this place why why we want to put our key in this place let's see i just put my key here and uh, if i send this notebook uh, let's say to harshita then harshita will get my key because it is here written as a here as a string so, which is not a good practice, but I got this uh, um, notebook from Anand sir, and uh, when I click on the key, it is, I don't know, I mean, his key or something, but I cannot see at least the key. Maybe I can run this notebook, or uh, but I cannot use it. I cannot steal the key. Okay, so, okay. So, everyone is ready. I just changed the variable here, my key, open AI key. So, my key and API key is same. Okay. All right. Just a quick question here. Yes, please. Uh, suppose I need to, uh, once I've done the work on uh -huh. my, my Google lab, collab, and now I've closed it. Next day, again, I want to work, do some work, uh, suppose regarding the graded document only. Then again, uh, do I have to copy and paste the API key, or once it is pasted, it is there for, or it's there forever? Okay, interesting question, but this is something which we need to try. I mean, uh, this is my first day when I'm using API key, so I, I, I cannot answer. Okay, okay. okay. But, but see, uh, OK, this one thing I just downloaded. Uh, I mean, I just copied this. Why this notebook is same? OK, this is the same notebook. Ignore. But maybe this air proxy, it was not here initially. It was, I think it is from the time of Anans or when Anans created all these uh, files or something. So do we have to uh, no, um, switch on that notebook access when we want to use it? And when it is now, oh, it I is like cross then it, it won't be used okay yeah this is a thing for now it is crossed so it is kind of like a, my information in the almira my information in a vault i can use any vault for now since i have i just create this key my key so i'm going to use it okay 
and uh, yes now i can just open it so i can use it now i closed it i cannot use it now okay okay any other question can we also use the proxy key which is given in the notebook i don't i don't even know if this is by anand sir i actually me and kardan was experimenting on these notebooks so maybe i created this proxy I notebook earlier i think kardan suggested that we created this proxy and I, okay just do one thing just do one thing do nothing just do one thing go to this website i mean this is our syllabus where is our syllabus copy it and tell me if you guys can see this uh, proxy and stuff just copy this open this notebook which is given here uh this jupiter notebook open it and just check if it is here or uh, it is only because i am opening it that's why it is there because you are opening it it is not for everyone and uh, yeah so that that's yeah. my thing then then it's not okay okay so for everyone uh, i just we discussed the method how to copy key from here and put that key inside this locker this vault okay my key give any uh, variable whatever variable you are going to give here keep it same here give it a value you know what is the value this is your secret so i hope everyone is ready now i want to yes. share it with don't share the keys with anyone don't share your keys yeah, with uh, everyone okay cartan uh, advising me because this is very limited access and uh, uh, this is not that big number this is sufficient for us for credit assignment and little bit of practice not that big number if someone try to uh, do some weird stuff then they can uh expand it within uh, maybe few hour okay so let's start so i hope this this part is clear can you show I, the email id from which this email has been shared just uh, the email id the, 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 email? Con the content is the title is large language model and it is from uh office anand sir this is from anand sir. Okay. anand at the red study it is from 9 june okay okay someone is type messaging okay Okay, I hope everyone is. Search for this title in your mailbox. Huh? Yes, yeah, search search the title. Uh, yeah, yeah, Prashant, that's the title. Partner is showing me. Thank you. So for every student, it is an individual key shared with us through the email. Yes, yes. For all one thousand four hundred students, this is individual. Yeah. Key. So for everyone, it is a unique key, right? Yes, yes. For everyone, okay. this is a unique key. I mean, uh, this is quite. What should I say? Generous gesture from IT Madras team and others. I don't know. <laughs> uh, supposedly, we run this uh, collab notebook after we finish it once. Mm -hmm. uh, how many times can we actually run it, like with using? The yeah, we will. We will discuss it. We will discuss it. Okay, we will discuss it about the tokenization and the what, what, how much we are expanding. We will discuss it. Okay. So, if you guys allow me, so we can move forward. First thing, I want to check if my key and everything is fine. So, I am always suggesting that. Make a small, a small type of uh, yeah. See, it is asking this API node, this notebook want to access my key. I am gonna grant access. Okay, so I always suggest that uh, always create a small cells and uh, run it. Next, I want LL all models. So let me try here. R is equal to uh, R E Q U E S T S request dot get. Inside, I need to write some address, but but since i just watched the lectures so i also did this thing anansar wrote replace your api in place of api.openai.com this is api.openai.com replace it with proxy you guys can see anand worker development so i'm going to change it okay so so here it is uh, in fact you guys can just copy paste it if you want uh, so it is better to copy paste it uh, it, it prevents some mistakes i'm going to copy just pay attention please i'm going to copy this you know, from here to r i'm going to copy this and but this will not work for us because our api key is not valid for this website api.openai our uh, api key is valid for as carton mentioned it is uh, something like retailer type of stuff it is it will work for this air proxy as an worker dev open ai okay after there are three dot which means v1 model is fine i need to change this part okay i need to change this part from air proxy an yeah, yeah. worker till open ai okay here 
that is not here. I mean, uh, Carton is mentioning I am, I am pronouncing this wrong. This is AI proxy. Forgive me. Not AI proxy. AI proxy. I am making mistakes. So, so now I hope it is correct. So the thing is just pay attention. R is equal to request dot cat. My URL is good. Uh, AI proxy. Anand workers dev open AI v1 module header uh, we provide some information in header what is the information uh, as you guys know in the cookie we give some 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 token so server can identify me here i am giving api key i want some uh yes or no is this thing clear is my quote correct this just two lines what do you guys think come on is this sure. correct uh -huh. yes yes no, we are making one request, uh, get request in that particular uh, uh, URL. Where yes. they, uh, and uh, since uh, the it requires authorization without this uh, header authorization, if you say it, uh, the uh, uh, output would be you are not authorized or something like that. So in the documentation, they would have given what all the headers you should have. Authorization is one of them, and you have to. Supply the API, I mean the key, your uh, authorization key there. Okay. So it should work. But you are, you guys are missing something very, very small. I mean, I'm a little bit again, once again. Second time in a day, I'm disappointed. Okay, actually, I'm on this one. Is it, is it perfect? Is it perfect? We have to replace API oh, key with the AirDrop. No, actually, I, that's oh, what I was thinking. Oh, no, 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 actually, the thing is, thing is that I was, I was thinking something. But see, this is just a variable. It is fine. I mean, no need to change here. Uh, sorry, I mean, there is no mistake. It is totally fine. What I was thinking, I was thinking, since I wrote my API key here, so I need to change it here, if, uh, my key. But no, this no, is no, variable. API key is the yeah. variable. This is the variable, so it will remain as it is. There is nothing to change. The only thing which I need to change from this notebook here, uh, since this is the original open AI, and we are using proxy, so we just need to change this URL. Let me try. If it is, it will run perfectly, then I am good. I'm going to point uh, print R. R means it will give me some, some kind of response at least. So let's see. I'm running it. And it is taking a few minutes, I think. OK, response 200. And we know. We are expert in web scrapping. We know. 200 means. What is the meaning of 200? Who's going to tell me? Amit was so excited. Do you even clap, Amit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> I told I told you no, like that. I mean, I told you so it will work something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really excited now. So response 200 means a success. So I hit the server, server give me the positive response. My whatever I'm looking for is exist, is there. Okay. So yeah, response 200. I, I hope all of you guys got this 200 thing. My API key is validated. Tell me if anyone is facing problem. I hope everyone got 200. Uh, everyone? Yes, yes, yes. We got Anna? to yeah. Yes, yes. Nice, nice. Yes. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt, but when would this session be available for viewing on YouTube? Uh, we, our site, we try, always provide them the link uh, recording within, as soon as we receive it. It's up to office people, I mean. But within two days, we provide it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so everyone got it? Shall I move forward? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now I'm going to just uh, copy paste this line. I don't know what this line uh, show, but Anansar wrote, it will show us 10 most recent model. Uh, if you pay attention, it is just uh, that listing operation, which is giving us uh, some 10. Uh, or we can do one thing. I just want to see which type of content R is going to throw at me, because that's what we did in uh, scraping. So I'm going to write text. Uh, that, let, me, let me just try. Okay, a lot of text. I cannot read it, um, but I can see one thing. I can see one thing. This is dictionary. This is dictionary type of format. So Carton is indicating me I should write JSON. Okay. Huh. Yeah. This is this is Carton always correct. So this is this is JSON format, and uh, I got my response here. So if you look here, what is this thing? Object is list data whisper. I remember this whisper is quite an old model from chat GPT and uh, there are stuff mm -hmm. 
just GPT 3.5 Turbo. This is the free model which we are using nowadays. And uh, 4.0 must be there. It it is. Yeah, it must be here and there somewhere. Yeah, 4 GPT 4. Okay, so this is the list of the model. So here in this code, if we look in this code, we got R and then this, which means it is giving us top 10 model, top 10 recent model. Okay, okay, let it be not much of our concern because on the portal, it is mentioned very clearly that we should use GPT 3.5 Turbo because uh, GPT-4 model is uh, very expensive. So it will uh, spend all of your credit within very, very fast, within a few minutes. So use GPT-3.5 Turbo and uh, not any other model. So you guys, since you guys need to give the answer in the graded assignment now, so maybe they create graded assignment answer on the basis of GPT-3.5. So you, everyone, please use GPT-3.5. I am going to just copy paste this thing uh, from here. Let's see maybe i need it okay so that's the here so i got the list of the models i hope you all of that all of you got the list of the model now okay now let's talk about the movie data set movie data set so i open this you guys better click here movie data set open it see maybe we are writing this everything on our own but it's better to open this uh, given official notebook so for for any help so open this movie data set and uh, download it in your local. Download it. Very small stuff. Download it. I'm still lagging. Um, my, uh, it is giving me error uh, saying that header is equal to means that is uh, the error. Uh, OK, is it something yeah. else? I copy pasted it. No, no. You better start uh, show your screen. Uh, Are, so, uh, I'm doing it on my desktop, so I'm and uh, using uh, for this uh, my uh, laptop. I mean, if there is nothing sensitive, if you can share your screen, that uh, window tab, so you better okay. One stop. second, just doctor, doctor Amita. You can call me Amita. Yeah. So okay. What I should I do? You better show your screen, or if there I is just, a lot of information. Just, uh, okay, I remember over here. You are my second student who had doctorate. I mean, last last term there was one Divya, one ma'am Divya, uh, Divya Jindal. She was also doctorate. Oh, uh, <laughs> actually, I'm using it on desktop. One sec, I'll just open Collab on this. I mean, no matter which system you are using, you can always share. Just... No, again, I have to log in from that. Uh... Okay. Okay, if you have any existing ID, you can log in. I can give you the permission. So external people are not allowed. But we can give you the permission if you want. I'll just open it. Oh, what I'm using it. Send. Shane, I may try open the CSE without downloading since some file could be. Yes, that's a good suggestion. But Shane, I think I need to mount the drive for it. So that's the another. Uh, huh? No, 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 you don't I need just to. Open the. Uh, Open notebook on this. Oh, okay, Dr. Amita, you better. Also, you need to share your screen. We can. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'll share. Yes, I'll just take your time. Take your time. It's fine. Yes, and. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. It opened over here. Once you can just share it. Share screen. Yes, we can see it. We can see it. One second. Oh no, this is not the one. One second. Mm. So sorry, to give me your time. Uh, it's totally fine. Meanwhile, Shane, uh, you better suggest me some some good way. Uh, we can just copy the link. Mm -hmm. You can just paste it, and then you just modify the link a little bit. It's not so, it's not a rocket science or something. 
and then no but i think a request uh, request is https or uh, air proxy dot s anand dot workers dot dev slash uh, open ai slash vi models that's right right uh yes https a proxies are double slash dot s and dot wordpress dot dev slash open ai slash v1 slash models maybe i'll close it from this side. okay actually uh, amita we cannot see your screen so if you are sharing then we are not able to see because uh, i'm not able to see only on this one set windows I have no idea why I'm not able to see. You can carry on. I'll just uh, try it out and then. Okay, so if you are not able to, then you better uh, paste your code. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll paste. Okay. And I, I don't think there is a. I can only think about only one thing. Maybe you are just writing some ra uh, wrong, um, this code, or your API key is not working. Maybe there is some mistake. Or during the copy paste, I the gave the access once again. Just open again, shutting down. Okay. Let me, I can see this. Okay, okay. Shan, meanwhile, you can tell me how to how to do this thing because, uh, yeah, I've, I've got it once again. I'll share it. Okay, okay, no worries. I'll wait. I'm, I'm writing the code, you can just you know help her in the meantime. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mita, please. Are you going to show? Uh, yeah, yeah. Things? Can't share your screen. Oh, uh, mm. I don't know. He gave the permission to everyone to share this. Screen. Sure. No, it's. Uh, someone just wrote on discourse some someone Simran. She wrote that she is not able to understand anything in the week five. I don't know where to start. Only if only if she just she just joined our session and we are having such a nice discussion today. Yep. Yeah, Mita, we can we can see you. Okay. Request Google Colab user data API key user data dot get my key seems good. Second R is equal to request dot get HTTPS AI proxy S and workers dev open AI V1 models. This also seems good to me for my header. And what's the error? Can you show me the error part? I scroll a little bit down. Not able to scroll It says headers. It says some white spaces are there, the, the name or something like that. Yeah. Oik. Invalid leading white spaces, reserved character, yes, or returns. Not able to do it. Not able to scroll once. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah. Bearer space is not should not be there. Bearer and AP space should not be there, I think. I mean, there is space. There is space in the original code. Also, there is space. Yes. Check your API key once. I think uh, some extra thing was pasted there in the key icon, uh, left side. I think. Left side. I think. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. You guys better pay attention on that. Your API key. It should be very, very, very else. Yeah. Even uh, there should not be any space or anything. Okay. So that problem is because of API key. So everyone just don't try to write your API key. <laughs> just everyone has to so know where the where the space is. Delete it. Delete it and uh, copy paste it. Again. Re yes. Okay. Because you cannot find the mistake there. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Uh, there is. So right now, I'll stop sharing. And I'll try and do yes, it, and yes, uh, we can. Course, yeah. yeah. Uh, Narain is not air proxy. Uh, 
I'm not able to view the air proxy. I'm just added on my own key. Like, but uh, where is that uh, URL available? <laughs> I just started the. Yeah, it's, it's on the let's content page. Is go to the week five content and just just below the uh, above the lecture video. It's there. Okay, Shivani, okay. you were saying Shivani was Shivani. I think Shivani, you were saying something. Yeah, but like the Amita had that uh, air proxy key something. But I did not have it in my oh. collab. I just took it from the email and like added it as you showed in earlier. Yeah, actually, there is no need of air proxy. I don't know why Amita had it, or maybe it's uh, from the time of card. Uh, so, Anand sir, should I directly uh, copy paste? What means my means uh, you had showed air proxy, and then I repeated saying that it is my key, and again I uh, copy pasted it. It's totally up to you. It's totally up to you. See, the thing is, uh, okay, okay. So you create that yourself. So the thing is, that's just a variable. Okay? You are totally free to you create any variable you want. The thing is, here in the secret world, I need to give a name to every uh, every value, every key. I need to give a name. So I just give it a name. Don't forget to enable it. You need to click on it. You need to enable it. Okay, and just copy paste it. Don't try to um, write or don't try to give a space or anything. Or, or I think I better delete it, which is creating confusion. So let me okay. just one key because you guys have only one key. Uh, give it an any name as a variable. Copy paste this code from the original notebook. Okay. Run it. Find this R JSON. Meanwhile, I am looking at the Cheyenne's code uh, to find out. Uh, yeah, it's working. His code is working. It was organizing this work. Okay, so the thing is, it should work. Okay, you are a reporting. This is good. We can use it. We can use it. But let's uh, make things a little bit simple today because we have a lot to discuss. So I don't want to discuss this code. Maybe Shen, maybe next time. Okay, but I'm keeping here uh, for my future reference. Okay, so everyone is ready. I mean, everyone is able to do that. API key, API key is working for everyone, right? Yes. Okay then. Okay then. Uh, okay, I move forward uh, because there is uh, quite a lot which I need to cover. Okay. Okay, so just a simple request thing, and then we just use API key. We create uh, here in the vault. We just create an API key, and then I just look at the just JSON R dot JSON. And since I take a lot of time, my runtime is disconnected. Let it connect. Okay. Now, okay, I have a lot of stuff here, but this is uh, we will see. This is about the which model I want to choose. So it is given that we should use only 3.5 uh, chat GPT 3.5. So let's work on it. Here, import pandas as PD. This is nothing but simple file which I am gonna read. So what I am gonna do? I just open this movie file. It is. Um, I just downloaded the movie file. Here is the movie file. I just click here and downloaded it. Take your time, one or two minutes, and download it. Then go in this folder. You guys know the processor. Click on the file and upload this file. Okay, which is movie dot reviews. Now uh, I am simply gonna use pandas. Uh, you guys know how to use pandas. We Where is this movies file? I'm sorry for interrupting. Where is this movies review file? This movie review file is just when you open the original notebook, you will find here is a link movie data set and movie review. Okay. Click on it and you will file a file. Download it in your local system. Though Shen has another method, but just let's today keep the thing simple. And uh, and kindly upload this file here. Clicking on this icon, upload the movie dot movie review. For the simplicity, you can even re rename it MOV movie MOV mov. Okay. This stuff we already discussed. I insist that you guys better watch all our previous uh, recorded TA sessions. We try to make things simple. We put efforts. And here I am going to proceed further. Import pandas as PD. And then I am going to write, uh, I just want data. So I'm, sir, use reviews. I'm going to write data. 
data is equal to ed dot uh, read underscore csv you guys know why i'm using this stuff my name of the file which is mov dot csv is my data ready yes my data ready i can prove it yes my data is ready nice data simple short good data now what no now okay there is a function name is i lock so what is the meaning of this function in this data okay just first tell me are you guys able to find your data are you guys able to run your key please tell me yes yes yes, yes? Okay. thank you very much and uh, you guys are able to run the data you guys are able to find the key now we can move forward see once again in this data once again i am repeating myself because we already work on a lot of data frame but here the name of my data frame is not data here i can see this column review i want first or second line of this column so how can i find the second line first i need to write the name of my data set which is data second i can write the name of the column which is review r e v i e w review okay now i want only one line shall i use this thing it is working it is working okay and there is one more thing just i log dot o i don't know what is the difference here but okay for now it is working and i'm gonna use this simple stuff let me name it let me name it something name or uh, let me name it a statement a statement i want to analyze this statement okay a statement is equal to data which is my review number one what what is our purpose guys our purpose is i want to create a machine i want to create a notebook which can do good sentiment analysis with the power of chat gpt but which, which can also run a lot of simultaneously, a lot of 2021 file at the same moment, like text block. Okay, I just, for now, for the experiment's sake, I'm just going to pick only one statement, which is review number one. Sounds like positive review. This is little wonder, wonderful production. The filming technique is very unassuming, very old time. Okay, this is, okay, give us comfort in this is positive. Sounds positive to me. Let's see. What's next? So I have my chat GPT key ready. I have my data frame ready. I have my statement ready. What now? What now? I need to create this type of page. How can I do it? So here is a code. Can I yes. ask a question? Yes, please. Uh, why did we start with review one and not review zero? Uh, this is totally my choice. If you want, then I can make it review zero. This is totally. I, I just wanted to ask if there is something special about or, or, or if there is some other special uh, number, like say 16. So, okay, we can we can do it. Okay. Okay. It's totally. I mean, this this is just experiment. I just want to pick one statement. I want to work on it. A statement. Okay, so, so this. Some film just simply should not be remade. I don't know what to say about it. So let me switch back to one because I know this this sounds like positive. Okay, uh, let's move forward. Now I have this long quote. I have this long quote, and I don't know how to work on this long quote. So so let's dissect it one by one. Uh, Subsequently, import JSON. Uh, first, import JSON. So import JSON. I don't know why I'm importing JSON here. Maybe because most of the our API, whatever when we use API, API return my result as a JSON. So it's better to have JSON ready. Okay. Then I need to make some definition. Uh, definition. Why, why I'm using this definition? Okay. Maybe because whenever we ask ChatGPT something, maybe in the back, background, ChatGPT is uh, maybe run a lot of, lot of functions. So let's create one function for our own definition. My function is get sentiment. Okay. Good. That's what I want to do. I am writing it senti. Okay, just not want to waste the time. Okay, senti. What inside senti? I am gonna give this senti some line, some statement. Okay, so let's say I want to give it some statement. Let me write a statement. S T A S T A T E M E N T statement. Okay, I will. Okay, okay. Let 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 me put something else. simple. X. I am gonna give it some string X. Okay, and uh, and what now? response is equal to uh why i'm writing response here so, so the thing is since i need to run chat gpt api uh that url i will give i will write something see this is my chat gpt so if i'm gonna say hello here which means i am posting something at chat gpt server in exchange chat gpt is giving me 
something some some result so that's why i'm using post request here this is a variable response is a variable i don't want to use copy paste type of thing so let's create my own stuff let me call it stuff whenever i'm going to paste this request r e q u e s t s requests dot uh, post so then i will get some stuff but the thing is whenever i write request i hope you guys are quite expert in scraping so first i write url so what is my url url is api open api chat gp completions so i think i should not use this thing because i just changed my url here i changed my url here so i think i should use my url in this cell also so which url i should use let me check no indication but i put my faith in another servers in place of api.com something i am going to put this uh, this stuff so since i wrote this uh, url earlier so let me copy paste it from here uh, http air proxy on a worker model but this time i am not talking about the model this time i am talking about something else so let me copy paste the open ai copy and then post my url here inverted comma i need to use inverted comma paste here okay now now let me check what what uh, anasar uh, has to offer anasar is saying in place of api.openai.com just replace it with a ai proxy to open ai okay that's what i am going to do api.openapi i need to replace it with ai proxy till open ai i did well now but the uh, other string i need to use these strings so i am going to copy it from here vi chat completions i need to copy it from here so this is i feel like this is a crucial step and please tell me if you guys uh, have any problem not able to understand it anything or able to understand it some word of encouragement something yeah yeah, yeah. after this listening this only my that r equal to that print uh, 200 came because i was uh, writing open ai dot dot three dots come on okay i i'm <laughs> really glad that my detailed explanations are helping no, i think madam the doctor also i think uh, i don't know whether that v1 slash was their model when she was doing oh, uh, which one which one no that was right actually uh, yeah. the key was the problem i think Okay. Then I got you it. You got two yeah. hundred. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Amita is fine now. Uh, there's confusion, man. What about us? Uh, okay, so so this is stuff. I hope everybody is very much clear. So what I did, I what I did, I let me explain. Uh, request dot post. This is my URL now. So my URL is set. But what now? Since we know this URL is uh, use cookies and uh, login stuff. So we need. You guys remember header information, cookies information. I'm gonna pick my header and stuff from here. copy paste because this is a header and this is my api key i already defined my api key above so it will not be a problem to me this time that i hope it will work i really i really hope that it will work uh, okay so this is my header stuff this is stuff uh, and what else what else i need to provide json inside json i need to give the name of the model okay this is the thing which i need to do json name of the model and what else something more what is something more i will discuss i will discuss really soon but for now i just need to copy paste this thing please json and uh, something inside the json here uh, and if we go below this stuff okay you have to bring it inside the uh, bracket actually oh oh okay 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 thank you thank you for reminding me who is it is it uh, Prashant, Prashant, thank you, Prashant. Second time you are saving me. <laughs> And the model is yeah, GPT three point five. Three point five. Yeah, three point five. Because it is given. Because it is given. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Prashant, comma and below it. It is. I hope it will work. Though the intonation is are, are a little off, but it will work. Just a That's bracket. Bracket is not in close. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I close the bracket. Okay. Okay, now now let's talk about it. Now let's talk about it a little bit. So what I did, um, let me give some specific, just 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 for for to understand better. First, I 
like you guys know in the request i am i want post request why i want post i explain this is my url fine this is my header fine and inset header uh, for the authorization token i am giving my api key which is well defined here uh, it is api key yeah this is api key fine uh, good then i have some uh, json inside json I, I need to define the model if you guys remember when we were creating the scraping part we were creating the uh, header then we need to define our mozilla firefox chrome version something this is very much like that so model gpt 040 i don't want to use it because uh, instructions are very much clear don't use it it will it will uh, i mean you it will make you bankrupt kind of stuff so i'm just going to copy and paste it here in place of GPT-4, okay, and now, okay, this is the thing. So I can say if uh, this is good, my API is good, which means I can access Chat GPT API. Fine. Now here is something which I want you guys to please, please pay attention, little bit attention. Just please pay attention. Two roles. One is system. One is user. Okay. What are these two roles? If I open my Chat GPT. And you guys can see just consider it as a whatsapp type of thing how many users can you see here one is me amit i am typing hello i am typing this now this who is the other person uh anyone chat gpt it's the system system, system. system. chat yeah. gpt itself okay chat gpt itself let's call it a system okay so first role is system second role is user now, what is this content? What is this content? So just, just consider, consider, uh, I want a volunteer. I, I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer, I know anyone. Today's session is going long, but I hope uh, I'm able to make everything just clear. I want a volunteer, man, come on, anyone here. Sahil, your mic is open. Can you talk to me? Okay. I can be the volunteer. Okay, so thank you very much, Sahil. Why your mic is open if you don't want to talk? Cotton, can you please mute, Sahil? Okay, okay, so, so I think it just consider me as a robot. Okay, and I have only one work. I have only one work. Tell me any command, tell me any work you want to do. Okay. Some some verbal type of work. Okay, just just say you want me to make a list of all the students who are present here. Okay. 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 So you can open this, uh, you can open this student list, and I'm gonna ask you a question. My question is. So, Neil, what is the name of the first? What is the name of the student? And your response is? Amrita. Okay. So, Neil, what is the name of the student? Name of the first student. Right? No, I never say first. What is the name of the student? You said um, Amrita. Okay. okay. Yeah. I put Amrita in the process. Again, what is the name of the student? Anjali. Fine. What is the name of the student? Uh, Anwar. Anwar. Okay. So that's the thing. That's the thing. So so just try to connect it. I don't know how to explain. That's why I am just creating this type of comedy. So just try to understand it. My chat GPT has a very fixed con content which I provide to chat GPT. So I just ask, I request chat GPT, chat GPT, ask me this question every time. Okay. Then I will give you content. Let's say this is Amit. And Amit is asking, what is the name of the student? This is Sopnil. Sopnil is replying, Amrita. Amit is again asking, what is the name of the student? Sopnil is replying, Anjali. Uh, what's the name of the student? Amit. Okay, so that's the thing. So what the happen? I just provide this content part to the system. Consider is a prompt. But my system will run this prompt again and again and again. One more example, please. One more example. Uh, here in church just just think, just think. Okay. just just this aren't we the user asking the question that identify the sentiment of the statement that's the thing that's the thing which i want to make let's just 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 pay attention here see uh here just consider consider please i want to find the sentiment of the following statement equation number one okay when i write this prompt my answers was not good then modify the prompt i i write but i also want some score so so what you think now what chat gpt is thinking i want some score but what score 
See, Chat GPT is not thinking in this only this line on the base of this line. Chat GPT is thinking on the base of this line. I want to find the sentiment of the following statement with some score like minus one to plus one. So my whole equation is my whole content is I want to find sentiment score of following statement on the scale of minus one to plus four as a score. Okay. So Chat GPT give me proper score, but okay. That's my prompt. Just think it as a equation number one. Just just imagine. Now now here. I just wrote this statement. I never give any instruction. So what do you think? What is ChatGPT is doing? ChatGPT has this content. ChatGPT has already has a content. What is that hidden content? Now think ChatGPT as that computerized Amit who was asking who is the student. Now ChatGPT is asking me in a hidden voice. Which type? What you want? You you do you want sentiment analysis on the base of minus one to plus one scale? And I am saying yes. There is the statement. Someone is happily crying, and ChatGPT is giving me the proper answer. Am I making any sense? I is is this something not very technical? I don't know if this is happening at the background, but this is the best I can uh, explain the layman language. Just any doubt? We can discuss. We can talk. Am I... If we call the statement, if we call the function get sentiment multiple times, huh? are we sending the sending the statement identify the statement in the messages dictionary every time? No, that's the beauty here. That's the beauty. Once I identify my prompt very clearly and precisely, I don't need to repeat it again and again. Just see. Once I once I define my prompt here in this two or three. Chat messages. This, this. Consider these two as a combined. Once I defined these two messages, very my indicate my uh, directions are very clear. Now ChatGPT understand it. I there is no need to define again. I just write. Tell me the answer of this question. Here is the answer. I never say give me the sentiment analysis of this statement because it is here. That prompt is already. Perfected. This content is nothing but a perfected prompt, which the system is asking me again and again. What you want? Identify the sentiment of the movie. Okay. You want me to say positive, negative? Yes. Tell me your content. Then I provide my content here. Uh, is it a little bit? Anything is clear, or are you guys say something, everyone, please? Liking. This is unsupervised. Yeah. Unsupervised don't, please learning. don't 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 win the genre of unsupervised learning because a lot of us haven't completed MLT. Do I complete it? I can I can discuss. If you want to discuss, please stay a little late and we will discuss, but not now. Because this is a whole another uh, discussion. Yeah, someone else was asking something. Who was asking the question previously? Oh sorry, I was asking. Uh earlier in Chat GPT, we just provided once that we wanted sentiment analysis, and then we didn't we just provided statements and not asked it to give sentiment analysis every time. Uh -huh. But in the definition of get sentiment, we are using the statement like in messages, identify the statement. Isn't it going to send it to multiple times? Like no, no need to send it multiple times. This is what this is what I'm saying. This is my prompt. What the prompt this see, this is my prompt, which is perfected here. After these two text messages, this message and this message. My prompt is perfected. My question is perfected. There is no need to change anything in my question. That's why it is giving me proper answers every time. Okay. So this this content, this is my prompt, which is perfected. Okay. So whenever I am gonna write any statement, system gonna ask this question to himself or itself. Okay. So this is my prompt, but I don't need to give this prompt again and again. I once I define this prompt. Now I just need to give the input, which is a statement. Okay. Uh, if it is not clear, please please ask. Maybe Carter can explain in better manner. Uh, yeah, I got it. Just so don't, don't say got it because you are expecting or something. So, so uh, just to clarify. Sorry, the voice is very disturbing. Voice is breaking. Yeah. Okay. Sorry to. Uh, so. Um, Basically, what's happening is in the um, 
I probably just share my screen for a second. Um, so, uh, what Amit was trying to say is uh, in Chat GPT, you have the uh, on the website when you're using the interface there, uh, it remembers the a prompt you gave it, and then it uh, naturally understands from context uh, the prompt uh, that you gave, and then it processes the data and again and again. Um, what ha what's happening here in terms of I don't know is my screen visible by the way? Yeah, visible. Okay. So what's happening here is we are in a similar sort of fashion. We are defining a function, and in this function there are two aspects to it. There is a prompt over here at the top. Uh, of this messages uh, section. And then there is the content that we'll keep giving it again and again. I mean, of course, in this case, it's the, it's the variable review, uh, but this is the item that we'll be sending again and again. Uh, and each time we call this function, it will make a request, uh, a post request to this endpoint, and uh, it will send the authorization key, and it will send this uh, JSON body. And in the JSON body, it will send the the question we are trying to ask and it will uh, also send uh, this um, uh, uh, what call yeah the data that we wanted to process of the prompt on so yeah i think if you think of it in terms of this movie data set we wanted to do some processing on the data okay so this is the uh, transformation we want to do, like if you think of it in terms of mathematics, this is the transformation we want to do on the data we are providing. What is the data we are providing? It is the movie review itself, the, the statement that we are uh, wanting it to do the transformation on. So that's what sort of mathematically happens in the background. If you think of it as uh, this defined as a function, like add two plus three to whatever data I'm giving you, and the data we keep sending is five, six, seven. It will do a transformation and then it will give back a response. And that response is what we will get in the result over here. And in the same way, we have given a transformation, but in terms of English now, in terms of natural language. We're saying apply this transformation to this data which we are providing. And so it does that transformation. And what's the transformation in this case? Give us a positive score or negative score. And then it will send us a response after doing that operation. For the computer, on the back end, everything is like a mathematical operation. It sees this as some sort of mathematical equation. It does the transformation on the data, and then it gives us a result of that mathematical operation. But for us, it looks like natural language, because um, that's the beauty of LLMs, is that they, they have managed to transform the mathematical language into a natural language uh, function. So that's uh, what's happening. Is that Does that help at all? Yeah, thank you. I, I just wanted to ask, like, uh, uh, when we were considering the chat GPT, actually, we were working on that. So yeah. the first sentence we gave was, uh, like, identify the sentiment, just like here. Then we said that we want the scores in terms of minus one and one. And so here, if we want to do that, uh, we would, like, in place of just say positive, negative, I suppose, then we would have to put it there, that uh, put the scores as minus one and plus one. Correct, correct. Then you would have to be very specific in providing the entire transformation that you want to occur on okay. what's being offered. So you would say then over here, uh, provide a score from minus one to plus one. Then it will do that transformation. OK, so that means we are having a limited functionality. Like we cannot uh, be uh, working on it with this function real time. Once we uh, give it, it will work only on the set transformation. Yes, I mean, because this is now defining a specific function we want it to do. So you will have to think carefully. So this is where it's where we call it prompt engineering. We have to carefully define exactly in natural language what exactly we want it to happen. So think of it as if you've got uh, employees, right? And you want employees to do a certain task. Uh, say, for example, you want uh, the employee to uh, every day uh, in the office to put, uh, as soon as they come in the morning, the first thing you want them to do is put all the chairs in a particular order. So you'll give that in natural language to them, right? So that is your exact instructions to them. You'll have to give it very specifically in the same way uh, for what you want the outcome to be. So that is, yes, you'll have to give a clear prompt. You won't be able to on the fly. I mean, you could possibly do that. But that's, uh, again, uh, something then you will have to create a, uh, 
an input you know like how amit was showing okay. earlier you were typing in text blob uh, mm -hmm. string input then you will have to engineer that into your program where you keep changing the prompt so that uh, you can improve the response you're getting back from the system all right okay, okay. thank you so, so that's i hope that's helpful and then okay thank you karta uh, is my screen visible i think karta your screen is visible. oh yeah sir <laughs> Okay. Uh, thanks for the explanation, Carter. Man, that's really helpful. I hope it really <laughs> yeah helped. Okay, so I hope everyone is very much clear. If anybody has, still have doubt, we can discuss. Okay. If not, then we can move forward. Okay, everyone. Uh, are you guys there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Arif, don't leave me in the middle, bro. We are just about to finish. Okay. I don't know. We are about to finish. Okay. Just, just back here. So this is the prompt. Consider it as a prompt, but we need to write it as a content. Okay, so this is prompt, and here what will my content? Since I just put my content as a statement, so I want to give it the name statement. I will feed some statement here, and it will give me. It will run this prompt on my statement, and I will get the result. A statement. Okay, so it is good. Now, here. so once I am gonna run it. So once I'm gonna run it, uh, this is stuff. Let's let's run this stuff. Okay, let's run this stuff. I want uh, return R T U R N return is stuff S T U double F stuff. So my function is very much complete. I want to see it. Uh, this is stuff. Okay. So let me run it. I'm a little excited. Okay, it's done. It's done. Okay. Uh, so now. I need to since this is a function, so I need to call a function. So let's call this function. Senti inside senti, I need to give some statement or, or something at least something there. So let me write. Uh, it is x here. So let me write a statement as tate statement because I defined a statement uh, somewhere at the top. Okay. Now I am going to run it. I just pay attention at the answer. This this will be interesting. I hope it will be good. Oh. Response. Uh, so dot JSON. Uh, okay. One second. Uh, I just missed the bracket. Let's see. Okay. Here. 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 Now. Now, guys. Everyone. This is the moment of magic. This is the. Best thing. Oh, just give me a second. Shouldn't we use X in the instead of statement no. in the content? So uh, we are uh, using X. Yeah. So um, just to clarify, okay, uh, Samit has just demonstrated how not to hit the API. So he ran the debug three times, and uh, he ran the uh, call to the API three times, but actually he was doing a debugging job. So this uh, is a good example how not to do it in the sense that don't hit the API function three times to do the debug. So I just we just wanted to demonstrate that to you so that you know how easy it is to uh, make that mistake. Okay, so uh, just uh, just a clarification there. Actually, it was not demonstration. I missed that thing. Okay, so the thing is that uh, thank, thank you for pointing out Carton. So the thing is, everyone, please pay attention what Carton just said. This function, senti function, is using uh, the background power of API. This is using your uh, keys. This is using your token. So what I did, I, I made some mistake. I like I stupid. I just run it three times without any input. Yeah, someone just I think it was uh, Shivani. She was mentioning, shall we put X here? So what is X? X means if I'm going to write X here, which means it need an input. So that's my input. What is my input? This is a statement. Why statement? Because I already defined my statement here. Can I write anything else? Of course, man. I can write anything else. Copy. And I can I can define a new input. Let's say my input is uh, Y. Y is equal to. This is some uh, very fundamental stuff. Let's say 0. OK. Uh, I, I like to do it in the next cell because I don't want to lose this uh, output. Because we need to analyze it, okay. So, but but 
just for the sake of uh, clarification here now the thing is copy up, up c at this moment what is my y my y is another statement oh, okay let let let's let's call it eighth or ninth statement this is my statement now i want to feed this statement inside my chat gpt stuff so how can i write it this is just a variable and you can change your variable uh, whenever you want i'm gonna run it okay so so now the thing is if you uh, pay attention whenever i run senti this thing senti word senti is a function and this function contains my api key api uh, my tokens and whenever whenever i am going to run this senti statement this senti function it will use my api token so now now let's dissect this thing id ignore id what is this meaning whenever we make some uh, messages on the chat gpt it has some directory it has some 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 uh, id number so ignore it what is uh, object we mentioned this object soon uh, earlier chat completion this is this is the part of chat excuse me sir yes sir i don't think that uh, the statement that you have passed is uh, the function is using that since you have passed the statement itself so it is kind of global thing could you please uh, go back to the function uh, here. yeah here here you have wrote the statement it's okay. So I think oh, forgive me. Okay, so Shivani, is this what you were mentioning? Yeah, we can use X because we haven't used X anywhere. So. so this is one more example how to waste your API token. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for pointing out this. That's really thank you very much, Shivani. I, I was just misunderstood it. Thank you. Okay, so here it is. Thank you. That, that that's that's the thing, bro. You guys you guys should always point out my mistakes. Let me waste few of my token more. Uh, just, just to give Amit a break, break uh, he slept at 4.30 this morning, yeah? So he's been, he's had very little sleep, and I'm just amazed that he's still functioning at 10.30 in the night, just so that you guys are aware. But he's doing an amazing job otherwise. Uh, it's, it's, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Okay, okay, everyone, please pay attention. Don't don't listen to the nonsense of Karthan. So, so here, let's dissect this thing. ID, this is just ID. And this is something when I created, I don't know, maybe it is time or something, was ignore it. This is important thing. This is the exact model which I ask for. I, I give them the number GPT 3.5 Turbo, uh, which is uh, somewhere above. Yes, here. And it is using the same model. Now, uh, this is kind of uh, metadata. For now, ignore this choice. Ignore this part. Please ignore this part for now. I, I, we will come here. This is important part. That's why ignore it. Now, let's talk about the users. This prompt. How much token this prompt consumed? This prompt consumed 234 tokens. There is one token for completion. Okay, so total token is 234. Okay, How, what is the monthly cost? So, so the cost of this this prompt to run is this is the cost. Okay. So be careful. Don't waste it. It is quite a huge cost because you have only 0 0.05 or 0 0.5. 0, sorry, 0 0.5. Uh, cents and it is just cost you uh, some it is seems like it's small but but just think uh, if this language this what is my here this, this is my statement let me see my statement once s t a t e m e n t this is statement uh, this this is statement this statement cost you 234 token so use your token wisely and i use here different statements so let me check what is my statement here mm. Uh, let me print y okay uh, and this is this this is smaller than my previous statement this is yeah two or three lines smaller than my previous statement and let's uh, pay attention of the token <coughs> here my number of token is 234 here my number of token is 184 my cost is here of course less than uh previous one okay so the thing is this is this is the use of token uh okay so, so for a quick note, Carton is uh, indicating me that I better tell you a little bit about the token. Token. So it is called the tokenizer. Uh, tokenizer ChatGPT. This is, I think, this is from the ChatGPT. Yes, this opening. Uh, let me show you something. Let me uh, copy this content this statement part. Uh, am I? Uh, is everything is clear till this point? Uh, yeah. 
if anyone have any question just ask me we are just a student like you so no need to hesitate or something which one i am going to use i am going to use 3.5 because that's what i mean i am just going to put my text here and you see the token number is 212 and what it is showing it is showing me um 234 so if very much close not exit very much close okay so this is my, my number of token you that's how you guys can count now uh, i just want to discuss with you this is not from the syllabus but just i want to discuss with you guys this colorful division are the tokens okay a is is a token wonderful itself is a token little is a token production is a token these are individually one 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 token okay one token per word but this is not a rule because i can see this polari and if you pay attention this is blue and purple which means this polari which is a single word contains two token let's find one more example masterful pay attention on the masterful blue purple this word single word masterful consists two token hal i will hal i will this hal i will is consist of three token now maybe you can ask maybe you can ask amit is this token uh, are proportional to the length of the word if i am going to say yes then i am wrong why wonderful has more words than uh, where is that word orton orton see orton has two only five uh, sorry not words only five characters wonderful are nearly seven or eight characters maybe more but wonderful is single token orton is multiple two token okay masterful definitely masterful is less than techniques and particularly but particularly and techniques both has the single token more characters but masterful has more token less characters so what's the trick here i think it's based on the uh, basic sounds that it make the words are composed of okay uh, actually uh, you are close composite word is important what you mentioned composite composite is important reason if i am going to say if i am going to say little so will little word then will create any ambiguity in your mind if i am going to say uh, i think it was uh, i i i missed the name okay let's say shane if i am going to say i mean anyone if i am going to maybe uh, swarn name or sopnil if i am going to say sopnil this stuff is little will it create any ambiguity you are very clear you are very solid clear what is the meaning of the little correct right? if i am going to say wonderful you are 100% sure okay maybe, maybe wonderful is not a good example for it if i am going to say production you are very sure okay this is the meaning of the production whenever i use production word it has only simple single meaning okay but sometimes some words are like composite so you use the word composite so so chat gpt this token stuff they just divided the word into different 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 part segment and they have some definition about it see i can see this hall i will for here it is i don't know what's the meaning of the hall i will but if you look at it it is hall okay maybe hall has different meaning i has different meaning well has different meaning and this is not a very common word in english so chat gpt need to uh, pay some processing power chat gpt need to uh, expand some processing power to process this word and to think about it what will come after it what will come before it and what is the significance of this word okay so this is not the exact mathematics once again this is not the exact mathematics but this is uh, what actually in the term of uh, uh, layman language or maybe you can read the whole documentation you can find something maybe not here any other page uh, so i also don't know a lot of his stuff but this is what i am able to understand after reading few uh, online resources okay i hope this token part is clear no one going to ask you question i am just telling you uh, just sharing knowledge okay so you can see so this is the token part now now what i want i want the positive if the sent okay first tell me is this uh, whatever i am saying is is this stuff is clear but we are we are having quite a long session i hope you guys are not bored or huh some words of encouragement like yes or uh, no will be yes yes definitely yeah. thank you thank you thank you very much very enlightening thank you very much guys i mean to be honest me and kartik was little bit nervous before taking taking this session because these topics are very much new for us so yeah we spent few hour to prepare the work 
what should we speak here? Uh, okay, so so okay, so this is done. Uh, so so yeah, everything is done. I just ask you guys to leave this stuff here. Now let's come to this stuff. I'm gonna copy it. Let's talk about this stuff. This seems uh, to hide my uh, answer. What is my initial question? My initial question was identify the sentiment of the movies. Identify the sentiment of the movie based on the statement. I provide that statement which Shivani uh, pointed out. Uh, it is a string, okay, global variable. So, so I actually I desired that positive negative part. So this is that positive negative part. So as you guys can see, this is in the JSON format. I have dictionary, quite a nested dictionary. So how can I filter it? So as Carlton mentioned, don't use this function again and again and again. Okay, don't use this function again and again and again. But once again, I made a mistake. I should provide it as a variable here. Okay, let's let's think about it. I want to filter this choice. So how can I filter it? I can write sentiy.json after it. Okay, let let me let me make this little bit more mistake. How can I, I go inside it? How can I go inside it? I, I need to run it again. Once again, bad example, you should not do it. I need to run it up here. I need to pick this thing, not ID, not object, not created, not model, choices. So I need to pick choices, C-H-O-I, C-E-S. Simple dictionary stuff, we already discussed it uh, during our sessions. Inside it, I can see this is a list. Inside list, this is my first dictionary. So I need to point first element of my list. Inside it, I don't want to go into index. I want to go into message. Yes, message. M E W -S, S A G E message. Okay. Inside message, what I want, I don't want role. I want content. Inside message, let me check content. Okay. Let me run it and I hope I will get the answer which is negative or positive. This is negative, Run. but pay attention, please. I am wasting more of my token because I am running this function again. Okay, so I am wasting more of my token. So, so please don't do it. Always assign some variable. Always assign some variable. So, how can you assign some variable? Uh, let me run. Let me waste few of my token because I don't need to give the assignment. So I am free. Just after this session. Okay, so let me do this again. Copy. <clears throat> and uh, y is my data review let me change the number just for the curiosity sake uh, let's say 18 i don't want to run this again and again and again as carton mentioned so better give it some name let's call this a n s w e r answer answer is equal to this okay now i can run it or i can say a n s w e r answer let's see what is my a n s w e r answer sorry my typo and see, I am again wasting my token. Once again, bad example, not don't waste your token. My token account is definitely decreasing somewhere. But now I have this answer. And this answer is part of my local memory. This is not a part of chat, chat GPT stuff. No matter how many times I want to print my answer, I am not wasting chat uh, tokens now. I am totally, uh, totally fine. I am chill because it is just already processed. I am just looking at it again and again and again. Now I can work on it since I am making a lot of mistakes. So I am, I am printing ID. Okay, this is, this is wrong. Uh, forgetting quotes. See, I made mistake. I made mistake since I am using the variable. So it is fine for me. But by chance, by chance, I am used doing this process here. And my silly mistake cost me dollars, not dollars actually, <laughs> cents, but let's say dollars. So, so, so this is the thing. This is the thing which I want to demonstrate. This time, this mistake was not genuine. Uh, just part of demonstration. Okay, so now I can I can get desirable. So this is the thing. This is the thing. Ki how can you use your API key? How can you use your API key? How can you use this URL? How can you insert your API key? Uh, how can you write a proper query? And uh, here, I, how can you write the proper query? In the query, how can you just uh, request something? How can you put the API key header? Which model you can you should use? How can you give the uh, prompt? How can you get the input? This is here. Uh, you should be here. This is how you run a function. You guys know it. But uh, once again, I, uh, me and Carlton both insist to please spend your tokens carefully. And uh, this is how you work. 
this is how they stood for. I want to write one more uh, code, uh, one more definition, uh, just for the experiment's sake. But for you guys are free, please ask anything. Okay, please ask any question. Uh, just tell me if your notebook is prepared, and please ask me. Don't repeat these silly mistakes. What I did for the demonstration purpose and for my real mistakes. Always assign some variable and use those variable uh, for tinkering for experimentation. Okay. Anyone, please. Uh, some any voice? Anyone wanna say anything? Point out some mistake or something? Some question, please. Uh, no comments. No questions. Are you guys doing it? Yeah, we are trying. Yeah, please take the reference from the original notebook. My, my code is not exact as original notebook. If you maybe you guys uh, noticed, uh, it is little bit. Let's see, maybe simple. This part is simple. This part is simple. Here, an answer user uh, just one cell. I I just dissect it uh, in so many parts because I don't want to waste my token again and again. So. Try to write it yourself. Uh, if you need any help, just please call. Yeah, I have a query here. Mm -hmm. mm, the JSON, uh, this one uh, role is there, no messages. That is default or we can uh, give any name. How is that? Uh, this you mean this common uh, user yes okay uh the thing is uh actually we need to uh, we, we haven't tried it uh, and the token are very limited so it's not like we are afraid to try a lot of things i'm not pretty i'm not sure maybe we can change it or uh, is it definite let me check the documentation work once i don't know if there is some indication let me check the documentation uh Vengata, what specifically yeah. are you asking about The code uh, that we are inputting the JSON no, chart uh, means uh, GPT 3.0 and user roles we are giving user and yes. system. Is that default or we can assign any name? This yeah, one? so the roles themselves, uh, they have those key, those are keys in your JSON body. So keys are something that the um, API itself is expecting. So you can't change the key. Uh, the second thing is uh, each role uh, has some very defined purpose. So when you give, say role system, on the back end, what's happening is uh, Open API is uh, has some predefined roles that they are already using, and uh, so system would be one of them, user would be another one of them, uh, and so those are predefined. Uh, so they are not defined by us. It's, de it's defined by their documentation that they have provided. Uh, same way with the role like assistant. It is uh, when you want to label content or rather label, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a sort of machine learning uh, aspect of it. When you want to label something, then you use the role assistant. Uh, and so those uh, are, like I said, predefined by open API's documentation. Their documentation is quite extensive. So if you wanted to investigate those uh, the API more closely, you are able to do that by just going on their website and uh, researching the documentation. But that's uh, what I understand in terms of uh, what these um, JSON body uh, objects that we are sending to them are supposed to do. Is that helpful? Yeah, yeah, very helpful. Yes. Okay.
uh, you people don't chat in the chat box just 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 okay yeah just you can talk to us don't make this session boring because it is recording also complete your notebook man you guys can always open your mic and talk to us harshita jain i am one of them i mean okay just don't try on us bro just try to understand we are also student maybe some information okay this is not comedy see uh, this part this api part me and cartons studied it uh, today on uh, so so there are maybe there are a lot of things which uh, we are not going to tell anything wrong but maybe they are incomplete okay so so please watch your professor session uh, find some information there uh, read some uh, other documentation please and please speak whenever you have something to say better than typing you can always speak okay so just tell me everyone i just want to try one more uh, definition here so just tell me uh, is uh, are you guys able to find uh, this number uh, or this negative word this is the word answer this okay if you guys are able to find it then i i want to experiment a little bit more okay let me see can i see the hands or voices how many of you have completed this notebook till this point i did it sir okay prinika thank you very nice sandhya shiksha thank you so much so many swapnil swapnil okay lot of anyone is lagging behind or uh, help me sir okay yes okay yes sir yes sir okay yes sir 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 but i'm just low on energy so i'm not trying it right now tomorrow Come morning on. i'll try it fresh you're not even speaking that much bro i am just speaking like continuously clearly okay. i'm a morning person so i wake up at 4 i wake yeah. up at okay and i, I will i will do that at 4 am wait i sleep at 4:30 and wake up at 8:30 okay so okay yeah, you do so okay. so okay. once you're in iit my environment i think your sleep cycle is completely changed yes that's true Okay, so I just want to do a little, little. Okay, my screen is busy. I just want to do a little bit of experiment. My experiment is I want to change the prompt. This is a prompt is given here, and I am not satisfied with it because it is showing me only. Uh, what's it? Um, it is showing me only positive negative. But what I initially want, I want to create some kind of text blob of thing. So I want it on the scale of minus one to plus one. So, so let me try it. nothing just copy everything and paste in the bottom cell so yes as you guys were asking i think it was shivani who was asking do we, once we give the prompt is will it fix yes it is very much fix we need to change it uh, according to our need but once you think about it once you are gonna let's say once again movie review if you have like uh, 1 million of uh, indian users who are commenting on your twitter page then setting a proper prompt is itself is a big job once you set a proper prompt which has very less token which has very to the point and which can give you very proper result then setting the prompt and forget it just name this notebook as movie review and whenever you release your new movie just check it movie review okay you can use this key as many uh, notebook as possible as you want okay you can use this single key in many notebooks okay so just leave one notebook Uh, for one type of prompt okay now i want to check identify the sentiment of the movie just say okay here's the problem i don't want just say positive negative i want uh, numbers also so that's the modification i want to make so that's sir, sir yes. ask for subjectivity and uh, both sentiments see Uh, about the subjectivity and that okay i will ask i will ask but the thing is there's a property of text block so maybe chat gpt can give it or not i don't know so let me ask okay but as it was giving in the chat gpt yeah yeah that's true that's true. it gave us in the chat gpt okay fine okay fine there's a sentiment score there's a polarity score basically i will ask it sentiment score okay because polarity and sentiment uh, subjectivity is a part of text block maybe it it will get confused about it so so i will ask from the simple plain english no technical term identify the sentiment of the movie uh, or or the statement identify the sentiment of the statement okay uh g 
give me result as positive I better put it in the quote as positive and negative also let me give a space uh, enter here also i think you need to use single quotes single quotes yeah or, or that yeah escape character that's that's good mistake you pointed out thanks Okay, uh, let let it be. I need to give that um, slash and something. Yes, so, so you cannot change the line. Yes, cannot change it. Also, mm. give me sentiment score, sentiment score on a scale of minus one, on a scale of minus one, two, plus one. Okay, so my prompt is now. This is prompt. This is the question which the system is gonna ask me again and again, and I will give a okay. Verify it. Verify it. Verify it. This axis that verify element. Uh, identify the sentiment of the statement. Give me uh, give me result as positive and negative. <coughs> also give me sentiment score on the scale of minus one to plus one. Okay, I'm gonna run it. Copy paste something from here. This is good. Copy. Yeah, someone want to ask or say something? Yeah, should I? I should we not make the message the content small, or is it okay if we make it long? No, see, whatever you are going to write here, it will be part of the tokens. Okay, it will take the token. That's what I am saying. Key finding a prompt is itself is a very important thing. How can you pack very accurate to the point information in a uh, minimum of the word? So that's a really important thing. That's uh, what prompt engineering is. So, so of course, is it necessary to write like give me result as positive and negative? Like if we write uh, say positive and negative and sentiment along with the sentiment score between minus one to one? Okay, okay, that's that's better word. That's better word. Uh, can you please uh, state what should I write? Uh, it's, it's good if you can change it. Uh, yeah, state the result. Uh, state as instead of give me result, we can just make uh, say result. Yeah, say positive negative that's also fine okay A along with the score that's it. along the sentiment score huh? yeah okay along the sentiment score uh, on the scale of minus one to plus one i think uh, it is very much clear to me it is clear anyone else if you thinking that this is ambiguous or so yeah. you guys can raise your concern otherwise i'm this is fine less words very precise that's what prompt engineering is okay I'm and gonna should run it. we mention that i'm sorry i'm interrupting it's fine um, but uh, score on the scale of minus one to one could be does it understand minus one to one if we put it in square brackets uh yeah we can try we can try uh, so we don't need to mention the scale of minus one to one no we can just write sentiment score minus one to one so okay you are seeing that bracket okay uh, i don't know if it will be very clear it will be like kind of like mathematical language see uh, we try to keep our language is very as much human as possible. So using the bracket is using the symbols. And as a mathematician, is mathematics student, we know the meaning of symbol. I am sure, pretty sure that ChatGPT also know it. But it will create maybe it will create some ambiguity. I don't want it. Okay, so we can make score between minus one to one. So still it um, saves two words. Uh, a score between this is this is good. Mm. A score between. Minus, minus one, one comma one you can erase two also i mean but two and comma will take the same token yeah but but i don't know maybe that comma take the more token it is okay. a special character i i'm not sure i'm not sure okay just maybe thanks i think it's sandhya huh okay, okay i'm gonna run it uh, successfully successfully done i want to see um, okay 18 is fine because we um, use 18 and it is showing positive i want to run it Let's see. A uh, little bit nervous. Cool, cool. Content is positive and uh, 0 0.5. And I'm totally satisfied. I'm totally happy now. Let me check just one thing. I'm using the same statement 18. Here the token is 184. What's the token at the top? 170. 
little bit increase in inter token but if you notice completion token is one here but now here completion token is six i don't know why this increasement maybe because we are asking for the two thing maybe it will increase some background processing but i am not sure i am not sure but the total total token is like cost me 190 and here it is costing me 171 19 uh, difference doesn't sound big number to me but consider if i'm gonna run this query on the 1 million of uh, statement then it will be 19 million token extra so yeah that's where prompt engineering works uh thanks i think for sandhya thank you sandhya and uh, now i am very much satisfied that yeah we can write any code we want we can uh, write any prompt we want because i just modify this prompt we can give any input we want so yeah totally satisfactory uh, from my side what do you guys think any question any comment any suggestion anything Shan, why are you so silent, bro? He left. Only three people here. Okay, of course, I this session is really long. I'm going back to she's key is not working. Are you guys there? Anyone? Sir, should we write a code to keep checking how much tokens are left by you know calculating the cost and <laughs> yeah i mean you can write it uh, i uh, you can write it um actually the thing is i don't if see if i'm gonna run this again and i find this as a dictionary then i'm wasting token so uh once i was trying and i realized that instead of chat gpt if you go into the setting not here not chat gpt in the original a open ai and if you purchase your token then they have some balance or they have some account type of thing where you can see how much to how many tokens are left but I think we will not access it because this is proxy of uh, an answer. So, but yeah, we can write this is a Python code. Maybe you guys can try, but uh, you better complete your created assignment. I don't want uh, that. After to... that, we can. Ha, ha, ha. After that, if you have to, then just, just play with it. Uh, this session is recorded. I should not say that. Play with it. Fine. Uh, please ask me any doubt or something. This session is very long today, bro. Three hours. A lot of people are leaving. I'm going to take the name of the whoever remaining and just tell me if you have any doubt or just otherwise we can say goodbye. Swapnil Shiksha. Shiksha is here, but she's totally silent today, huh? Shivani Shayan. You guys done? Any question? Oh, sorry, my laptop battery just died. I'll do it ah, after. God, bro, you miss it. Okay, fine. What about Shiksha? Yeah, not Shiksha, Shikha. Sorry. No, no, no issue. I'm doing it. Are you are you preparing your collab? You know what? Okay. Okay. First thing, first thing. Uh, any question, any doubt, anyone, everyone? No. I'm stopping the recording. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs>